morning, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. We're live in Lana's Love Kitchen. How are you today? Been missing all of y'all. <clears throat> Been trying to recover from this thing that's going around. Anybody else going through it? A little bit in the throat, a little coughing from the drainage of the sinuses. <clears throat> ah, I worked myself up. Make sure you get your water. This is my glass jar. My other one broke. I'm really good at breaking things and that usually means something big is happening in my life, right? At least that's been my experience. And so those are people, the people who know me and known me the longest recently, I, my mala's broken, energy has shifted in my life left and right. And whenever something like that happens, I'm like, oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. You don't have to believe it. I just know from my personal experience, but everybody has their own little personal signs, right? So welcome on this sexy Sunday. You gotta get your groove on. You gotta always start out dancing. Dancing, move that body, right? If you like these videos, spread some love on that share button. Share it far and wide because you never know whose life you're gonna touch because sharing is caring. Also, make sure that you have your notifications set to see first when we go live. I'm gonna be going live again this evening at six o'clock for that 40 day kundalini yoga challenge. <sighs> Get on with your rad self, right? Mm. So we're gonna talk about a few things too. I'm gonna make the pancakes. I promise you the pancakes. Cassava flour I have not played with with pancakes. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna show you a little sexy love right this is what i'm playing with i have not utilized this yet so this is going to be a lot of fun cassava's got to have got a lot of amazing benefits to it so you know you always got to try something new and i'm all about trying something new especially in my kitchen and most of my my food is plant-based whole foods it's the majority of my diet um, I don't go by labels. I don't go by terms of vegan or vegetarian because I feel like that puts everybody in boxes and I'm far from being perfect according to labels, nor do I want that stigma or that pressure. There's way too much, right? We're here about uniting one another, not separating one another through what you eat. I mean, come on, how crazy is that? That you can't like somebody because they eat something you don't. That's a projection of your own belief system, and nobody wants that to pull, be put on themselves, right? So it's Sunday. Do unto others as you want done unto you. It's a golden rule. It's a humane rule, right? And I always like to tell people, don't feel guilty about what you eat. Enjoy what you eat. If you're going to cheat, enjoy what you're going to eat. Just saying. You know? And spread love on that food and don't that, 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 that mind can turn around and, and guilt you into oh, I shouldn't be eating this no eat what you feel is gonna nourish your heart and soul if you're gonna sit there and go I shouldn't be eating this I don't care I'm gonna eat it anyway that's on you but let me tell you you're infusing everything you eat with the thoughts that you think <clears throat> so again Let's drink up some water. I've got some rad goodies I wanna share with y'all that maybe, I wanna know. I have questions for all y'all too. So in the comments, first off, where are you tuning in from? What are your health and fitness goals or what are your overall goals for life? What is it you want to experience in this new year? You've got a chance every day to start anew. You've got a chance every day to change the direction of your life. Do you, are you thriving or are you just surviving? Come on, we all deserve what we want. We all deserve to enjoy and live this life fully, richly in life, incorporating all those senses. You wanna see it, you wanna hear it, you wanna smell it, you wanna feel it, taste it, touch it. Sensuality is about incorporating all of the senses. How else can you enjoy the richness of everything that's around you? When you're fully engaged in every sense, usually, and I mean all five senses and, and the spidey sense too, that's when you're gonna really find 
the beauty, the joy, the richness of this life that you were come here, you came here in this human incarnation to experience. So drink, drink, drink. I drink two of these at least a day in the morning, first thing, because it helps with digestion, hydration. And especially during, it doesn't matter if it's hot season, cold season, your body needs to be hydrated. We're 70% water, right? So, good morning, Jen. Or afternoon, it's afternoon now, okay. And so, I'm gonna share with you some of my little goodies. I have been taking honey for my throat because it soothes it. This is actually CBD infused honey that I made. Um, cannabis, I'm not gonna say CBD because I know it's got THC too, but it's very light. And so it's really helped soothe my throat. My sinuses have cleared up significantly. What do you all use when you get sick? Do you have any, any remedies that work like boom? And I'm not talking about over the counter because honestly, most of the stuff over the counter I don't touch prescription drugs. The last time I did have to have something strong for a bronchial infection was um, right before I ran the Florence Marathon, Florence, Italy Marathon, and they had to give me z pack because I had bronchitis. And that's the stuff that the Marines take. It's like, oh my gosh, it wipes everything out. So here's what I wanna share with y'all. <clears throat> so I'm in my local uh, produce store called Nature's Food Patch up here in Clearwater. And a woman I'm speaking to, I asked, what is it that you use? First, I we were talking about essential oils and I turned her on to helichrysum, which is amazing. And then she turns me on to this stuff right here. So my sister makes elderberry syrup, fresh. And um, let me tell ya, this stuff's yummy too. I might be a little weird. I like the taste of all the herbs. It's got everything from, oh my gosh, it's got elderberry extract, echinacea, purpurea, citrus bioflavonoids complex, and it's got, you know, like all the Latin terms in here. Golden seal root, um, white willow bark extract, olive leaf, horseradish, marshmallow, thyme. Thyme is very good for, I, I learned um, through some research that thyme tea is another one. I knew about oregano. <clears throat> Uh, cat's claw, ginger root, osha root. I don't know what that is. There's some in here I really don't know. I'm, I want to. I want to research because I like to know what what all these are. And then usnea, li lichen, lichen, mir, m y r r h, androphis paniculata, rutin, and purified silver. Powerful stuff. I've been taking it now for the past couple days, and it's significantly cleared out my sinuses now mind you i've also been doing the neti pot with the salt water i've also been blowing out my nose now it might not be attractive i have thieves oil too it, it has not been kicking this um and i've used that in the past but this stuff it's got all sorts of goodies in it and i highly recommend it i'm not p pitching their product but hey we'll drop a link later in the comments so, um, yeah, this, this, you know, like when you blow out your nose, I'm over a sink and I'm blowing it out, just let my sinuses drain. Because a lot of this stuff, the more water I'm drinking in the morning, it comes out my sinuses. Yeah, oregano oil is amazing and I have some of that as well. And, it, and then I've been putting oregano in my food. Like last night, made up a celery av avocado um, soup and I just, put a lot of thyme and oregano in it and woke up feeling so much better this morning. I needed extra rest. That's the other thing. A lot of people are noticing they need the extra rest and that's why our bodies get run down, right? Our bodies get run down because we're not listening to the signs that are saying, take it easy, need some sleep, go to sleep. And I am the first one to tell you I'm constantly go, go, going because I feel like I have so much I need to catch up. Hi, Cheryl. I feel like I need to constantly get things done and catch up and I don't like certain things around me being like a mess and and it's hard for me to sit still, y'all. That's just me and it's my nature and so it's been very humbling whenever this kind of thing happens where I'm like, I know I need to sleep, I need to rest. 
And when this initially came on, I was exposed to people who were sick and I was on my moon cycle. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I know my body when I'm exposed to people who are un, you know, not feeling well and I'm on my moon cycle. My immune cycle is already, immune system is already compromised. It's weaker when I'm on my moon cycle. That's why they, can't, they have these red tents, you know, um, over the years, this special event where women would come together during their moon cycles to support one another. And so that in itself, we no longer do that. And it's a time to rest and, and self-care, self-love. So these are always exercises in learning, okay, now I'm sick. Now I have to take time to get well. Because the more you try to power through it when you're not feeling well, the worse off you're gonna feel. So the other yummy thing that I'm also going to share is right now I've got two tea bags in here, but hot tea, breathing tea, right? Mmm, need some more hot water, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> I was looking for thyme tea and I couldn't find regular thyme tea. So I gra grabbed these two particular teas and I love, love, love this one here. If you haven't tried it, bronchial wellness. This is another really helpful one just to sip on it. It's very refreshing, opens up your sinuses. It has the peppermint leaf, licorice root, grindelia, aerial part, English plantain leaf, star anise fruit, thyme, helichrysum eucalyptus leaf and peppermint aerial parts of essential oil. This is the bomb. I really, really like this one. Then the Yogi Tea Breathe Deep is also good. Not as strong, but still just as powerful. It's the eucalyptus leaf, the thyme leaf, and then a blend of herbs of licorice, tulsi, ginger, cinnamon, elka, campaign, peppermint, cardamom, and muline. They're both really, really good, and I do recommend them because they have been helping. The other thing I have been taking since this really started on me was um, <laughs> this star anise powder and taking a bunch of that, plus the honey, the lemon, the apple cider vinegar, and just some cayenne pepper too. So I've been sneaking all of that in the cinnamon as well. Those are my blends and that's what I've been working on. Sometimes again, it really can boil down to the simplicity of drinking enough water and just getting enough rest when you listen to your body, you, these things don't happen. And so I have had this lesson for the past month. So listen to your body, because that's where your body's wisdom is teaching you something. So again, just in case you're wondering, if you have any other recommendations, I'm always open to listening. The tough part is, is letting my mind let it all in and me applying it. Because that's the problem sometimes. Is I do neglect myself. And I do, I, I preach it, but sometimes I'm not also doing it. And so, please... Don't be like me. <laughs> Sometimes I can be a little hot mess. And it's all good. But that's my weakness because I, I do want to take care of so much and feel like there's never enough time in the day. I don't know, are y'all like me? I know it's just, it could be just your nature and that's how I am. So yes, Crystal, self-care, self-care first. Because if your oxygen mask isn't on you properly, how can you help other people? Right? So, oh, Suzanne, anyone with kidney disease? Oh, goodness. And uh, yeah, and have any of you had the flu shot? And if you have, have you already gotten the flu? I've heard a lot of people immediately got the flu. I, I know when I was in the Air Force, it was recommended, um, or not recommended, we were required. I took it every single time, and every single time I got sick. Hmm. So the other thing I have going, because you know, do you like my love mug? Oh, my little pretty hearts. Some love action. Sharing is caring. I like to share what I'm doing in the kitchen. Yes, definitely no on the flu shop. Same here. Oh, I have kombucha again. So I have fresh squeezed oranges. I put it in the freezer because I like it a little colder. The flavor of it to be, you know, more particular. 
and then I'm going to add a little bit more of another, I think this is, so the other day I made like a mango ginger and this has also goji berries. One of my favorite flavors to make when I used to make it, well I make all different flavors. One of my favorite flavors in the beginning is pineapple goji berry. But unfortunately, uh, I can no longer do that anymore because I'm allergic to pineapple. Every once in a while I have it and it causes the roof of my mouth to go raw and I get all these blisters and like I've had, like one time I had like the corner of my left side, I had like this canker thing going for two weeks. It took two weeks to heal and I'm walking around going, it's not, it's not a cold sore, it's not a canker, I don't have herpes, it's aller allergy to pineapples. You know, it's a little embarrassing, right? Let's see how this one is. It might be kind of fizzy, it might not be. Look, it's not, it's not as fizzy as I thought it would be. Sometimes it'll surprise me. That's why if y'all watch Tom sometimes, I'm like wait, waiting for him to open the kombucha when I'm watching and I'm not around to be able to stop it. I'm like, no! <laughs> see and it's still draining a little bit so I have a little tickle in my throat so pardon my cough hopefully this doesn't go out of control I think we're good just never know right I love oranges crystal and I love fresh squeezed orange juice I'm an o, o positive blood type and they say that it citrus is not necessarily good on our stomachs but I still love it yummy. Here's a little bit of some, it's kind of got a little bit of a flavor of, um, oh, what is it? Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Tamarind. Oh my gosh, I've got tamarind in the fridge. I'll have to try that. So, what was I going to ask all of y'all? I wanted to ask y'all something. All right, well, let me just show you this beautiful love mug. I don't know if you can see. One side says truth and the other side says love, but because it's all fogged up, you can't see it. So, mmm, yummy. Where's my spoon? I, I, I'm really funny, like I, I like certain spoons and I kind of keep them available because I like to be able to reach for them first. <clears throat> mm. So let's move on. Let's make this, these pancakes. Here's what I'm working with. This cord is not as long as I want it to be. So what I'm going to try to do here, I'm gonna bring it over to this side of the counter. I need more hot water because I don't want that to be hotter. It's funny, I'm switching between hot and cold drinks. Mm. The booch is the best. Ah, vitamin D or vitamin A. You know, and that's the other thing too. If you're not getting enough vitamin D, that can also be weaken your immune system. Hey, I live in Florida, the sunshine state. Yeah, please, 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 everyone, please share this video. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know how long I'm gonna go, but I really wanna just wrap with y'all and see how you're doing today. I love the Gaia teas. They're really, really good. And uh, catch up because I haven't really had a lot of inter interaction and engagement with y'all in a while. And y'all know I used to, I'm, you know I love to be in my kitchen. All right, we got light. So my sister sent me this brawn, no, it's a Black & Decker. What kind of food pro processor do y'all use because I think this is this is what I got I've got another one in there that's a, a Cuisinart but it has a smaller um, what's this called again pitcher it's not a pitcher a uh, bowl <coughs> and this one is bigger and I used it the other night okay there we are we're smack dab on it I used it the other night and I really liked it because it has more space. 
So when I made up the cauliflower ice, the whole head of cauliflower fit in that. It doesn't fit in the Cuisinart because the Cuisinart is much smaller. The, other, the Cuisinart might be eight cups and this might be 12. It doesn't say, but that's my guess. So what kind of food processor do you all use? Okay, Susan uses the Ninja. My dad also, Suzanne has it. My dad also has it. Um, and he loves his ninja. He has all the parts. He, he just, oh, I love my ninja. All right, so the first things we're going to do is we're going to get all the ingredients together. I wrote up this particular recipe. I'm kind of changing it because I'm working with the cassava flour. So this is a kind of, you know, I'm, I'm experimenting with y'all because that's how I learn and that's how I create these beautiful recipes that I share with y'all. Hey, you don't know until you try. So we have some nanners. They're not as ripe as I would normally like them, but they're actually perfect. So we're gonna use at least six of these, and right here I've got seven. And I'm gonna use some coconut flour and coconut oil. This is gonna be fun. I've been wanting pancakes for days, and I just haven't had the energy I'm going to try two different ways. I have dehydrator sheets that you can use in the oven. I'm going to do some in the oven and then I'm going to do some in the dehydrator because the, I will tell you right now, personally, I found the dehydrator ones the best. They weren't overly cooked. They were just nice and you could make them a little crispy on the edges, but they have like a nice texture to them. Looks like I'm going to have a helper in the kitchen. And so I also have, I'm a compost queen over here, recycling. I feel guilty just throwing a piece of paper or something in the regular trash. I just, since I was a little girl, I would pick up trash along the side of the road when we lived in Northern Maine because people would throw their, their trash out and it used to make me upset. I'm like, nature doesn't want to be polluted. KitchenAid and Vitamix. The really nice KitchenAid one too, the little square one, that looks appealing. I have a Blendtec and I like my Blendtec, it's just really kind of noisy and I would love to try something that isn't so noisy because it is powerful. Hey, did I mention we are using nanners? It's nanner time, look at that. And so all the banana peels go out into my compost. Trying to think if I need to do the flour first. We're gonna go bananas first. We'll see how this works out. Oh yeah, yeah. And if y'all saw Tom cut him his finger, his ninja thumb, on his Blendtec blade, and it, I was afraid he was gonna really lose a thumb. Did I hear somebody say ninja? <laughs> ninja. He ninja flipped in with his ninja. How many viewers? 134 viewers. Awesome. Y'all enjoying Miss Lana today? So we're giving this away. This is our seventh one. Do you mind if I go over the rules real quick? Please. Okay, so check it out. This is our seventh one. We're going to give it away Valentine's Day, which is February 14th. <coughs> what? what? <coughs> All you have to do is you're already on the page right now. We create an event. So just ninja flip after this is over and Lana's done spreading her love with her cassava raw pancakes with the dehydrator. Go to the event, like the event, say that you're going, share it, and then in the notifications on our page, you hit follow and see first, okay? Then you gotta go to our YouTube and subscribe there. And lastly, the most important thing, go to our rad group. Radiculously Raw Authentic, create a new post, Right? Create a new post. Tell us your story. Tell us what your favorite color is. Tell us what your favorite pancakes are. Tell us what your favorite music is. What inspires you? What motivates you? If you've already done that, tell us another story. And February 14th, Miss Lana and I are going to uh, slide up in the kitchen and we're going to be giving this away, okay? What, what? So this is a new recipe too, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi Jen. Ninjas are rad, huh? I've had a ninja for a long time. I cut my finger, look, I cut my finger. Uh, Lana put dragon's blood on it and it healed pretty well. Look, you can barely see. 
Like, see that little cut? You can totally see it right there. It was, it was really... It was dark and I was in a hurry and I went to go down and touch something and the blade cut me and they're super, super sharp. Look how sharp, or actually I don't even have it out. But um, I've done a couple reviews and this is the IQ system one. It's better, there's a professional one and a home kitchen one. This one you get the food processor, um, you get uh, two containers with the lids. And so um, I really, really like them. But he stopped looking. We have, we have an issue with fleas down here in Florida. And uh, we got the love bug over there. He's he sometimes looks a little too much. I he's got that's fleas. The he's blade, his butt. The blades up there. Oh yeah, check this out, y'all. Omg, y'all. Just be, be careful very, with your appliances. Careful. It's really cool because it replaces three or four in one. But this is super super sharp. I really like the Ninja. Lana likes her Blendtec. Um, you know, they're all really really well. I've given away four juicers, and so it's just. You know, you just gotta have you know a few staples in your kitchen to transition to um, you know whatever diet you are. You know, we're typically whole a whole food plant based mm -hmm. diet. But uh, the Ninja has done wonders for me. The juicer, the Breville juicer, that really kickstarted my journey into you know, you know, being rock and rad. You know, really, and I don't juice that much anymore. But I got the Breville five years ago, the Breville Elite Juicer, and again, I've given like four or five away. Those things are so rad and you can get them for $300. And for me, just juicing, doing the Lemon Ginger Blast from Dan the Man, mm. um, just doing a carrot apple beet juice, right? Or just a celery apple juice, or just beets by itself, or just apple juice. There's thousands of different recipes. That really, you know, kickstarted my journey and said, hey, you know, I wanna just feed my body full of medicinal stuff. I'm just gonna keep wrapping. I'm oh gosh, go for I'm it. I'm gonna let Lana do her pancakes. Do y'all know what this is? Check this out. This there's, is special. There's no label, right? So Lana, I really like Texas Pete hot sauce. Okay, I love. In fact, in the comment section right now, see in our group, this is the rad things that we like to do. We like to do questions and options. And by the way, before I tell you about the secret sauce, please, please, please show this video in all of your rad food groups. And to be honest, our group is only 5% food, but it's a tool, you know, it's a tool. They're just, they're, they're props really because, you know, we talk about anxiety, we talk about depression, we talk about physical abuse, mental abuse, we talk about addictions, we talk about abandonment. So our group is extremely powerful and everybody is welcome as long as you're kind because everybody's, you know, go ahead, everybody's different in their own journey, right? And so like uh, yesterday, you know, we had, probably 50 vegans to take themselves out of the group because I posted a, a, a thing about steak. Well, we have probably 20,000 members that are not vegans or vegetarians. And so as long as you're kind and you respect where people are at, then you all are more than welcome. So share this in all of your groups, y'all, right now. If we, get to, if, we get, if we get 300 people in this thing right now, I will do 30 love spin booms. 30 love spin booms in a row, right in a row. If we get 300 people, so just start inviting people too. Share and invite, and then I'm gonna stop rapping. But this right here, this is called what what sauce. Okay, so in the comment section, tell me your favorite. I'm gonna give you three options of your favorite hot sauce because this is what I used to like when I was in the Navy. Number one, Chalupa. Is Chalupa your favorite? Number two, uh, Texas Pete, or number three, Tabasco. In the comment section, let me know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lana, I was like, let's make, let's make a, you know, like a what, what sauce. So she made this and tell them what you made it with. Oh, well, I have the recipe written down, um, off the top of my head. Mm, you gotta be careful. He'd be, he will actually lick it up out of the sink. It's better than Texas Pete, y'all. And it's got probiotics in it too with kimchi. It's so good. We're going to get a clear thing. I'm going to put what, what. And we'll and we'll we'll share the recipe on the business page, y'all. It literally is the best ever. The mm. best. You really don't have to put much salt on your food because there's a little bit of salt in here, huh? There's definitely salt in there. We if, nailed it. Yeah, I, yeah. And I love horseradish. What I put in it is is my cheesy sauce. <clears throat> so I make um, a cheesy sauce, and it's got a couple. I think it's got about a tablespoon of that. That's and kimchi, really good. The kimchi really, dressing. Really good. The, uh, not the dry, like the juice from the kimchi is in there and some apple cider vinegar and lemon I think that's all I'm, I'm sure there's something else water because we have to dilute it a little bit and you just shake it shake it shake it yeah he like he likes my kombucha see now you can see love 
Show me love. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let you continue. I'm gonna be right back. If we get 300 people in here, y'all come and do some love spin booms and I'll rap a little bit. She's probably gonna be in here for an hour and she's really gonna just uh, spread the love. Love y'all, remember, the ninja. We're giving away February 14th on Valentine's Day. Don't forget to enter. So rad, so, so rad. I <laughs> love snorting horseradish. I know, it, talk about opening the sinuses, right? So check this out, y'all. The, co the cool thing <clears throat> that I like about the Black & Decker, it's lighter to pick up, whereas the Cuisinart seems a little heavier and all. Look at what we got going on in there. All those nanners. So that was six nanners. I've got a seventh that's on, I'm gonna keep this on standby because it's very likely I will utilize it. We're going to go with, um, I'm gonna just start out with what I have as a base recipe. And we've got, I'm gonna go with the coconut flour first. So we're gonna do a cup of the coconut flour. I think I might even, so this is what I've got. I got let's do organic coconut flour. Again, these recipes I we always share in the group. So again, if you haven't joined our ridiculously authentic group, highly recommend you get on in there. Ninja Flip over. We sit, share the recipes and the f and pictures of our creations most of the times in on the page in the group. So I'm, f I'm measuring out a cup. I don't always measure. Those of you all have been watching me for a while, you know that it's it takes. This is a labor of love that I'm measuring out my recipes to share them because I normally don't even do that. My sister and I have this little joke. Every once in a while, we call each other up. I just made the most amazing, insert whatever recipe it was, and it's always like this. <laughs> Did you write it down? <laughs> Darn it, oh, I forgot. <laughs> so we, we know how we are. We laugh about it, we're playful about it, but we also know we change things up and just do things on the fly. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's a cup of coconut flour. Now we're gonna do the cassava. I'm just gonna stick this thing in here because it's a bigger container. I'm gonna do a cup of cassava. Oh, this is pretty, it's white. The benefits of cassava, if you haven't looked it up, are amazing. I was reading over it and how full of protein, for those of you who are always worried about, where am I gonna get my protein? Which is technically, when it's plant-based, is amino acids, and amino acids is what your body needs as building blocks to create protein. When we take protein in the form of animals, that animal had to create it through its own body. And it's more optimal when you allow your body building blocks versus breaking down blocks. So if you're taking in, and this is what I've learned through my journey, when you take it in in the form of protein from an animal, you're having a, your body has to go through more work and it's more taxing on your, ner your nervous system, your circulatory system, your heart, your, all of your organs are going to work going, oh man, there's a lot of work going on in there. And believe it or not, your body really just needs to have these building blocks to work and function optimally. Hence why we get more tired, the more the body has to work to break things down, right? So, oh, excuse me. It's also chilly here in Florida. I don't know about y'all where you're at. Let me know how's your temperature. We have this, this is the sunshine state. Fortunately, the sun is out outside, but, I like to get it all out because I don't want to miss a beat, right? But um, fortunately, the sun is out, but it's like, I think 50-something degrees out there, maybe. The low this morning was something like 37. That's cold for the, us Floridians. And so, you know, you put on things that look like leg warmers just to warm up. Yeah, 40 below. Mike, I'm not envying that. Not at all. I lived in northern Maine, right across the border from Canada. I, I visited my sister in Alaska when she was pregnant with my niece. I'm going to tell you, I prefer the warmth. And so I chose to move to a warmer climate. And then eventually we'll get to the islands, right? 
I like warm temperatures all year round. I want to be able to walk out. I do like to walk around naked. There's nothing wrong with that. The body is natural. But I want to be somewhere where I don't have to worry about people oogling me and going, oh, what's she doing, right? I know, right, Jen? I had to put on socks too. But Well, I got the flip slippers on, but definitely a sock day. <laughs> and that's a little joke with us Floridians. Like, what? I wear flip-flops all year round normally. And when I have to put socks on or put on my Uggs, because that's usually what I'll do. I'll put my Uggs on. That's when I know it's cold. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so yummy. <laughs> I'm feeling ugly today. Okay, so we got cassava. We've got coconut flour. And now I'm going to add some tiger nut flour because that's what I did the last time. But I'm going to do half a cup of it. So the flavors in here are going to be really interesting and yummy. It's super full of goodies. So the, the tiger nut flour, because I, I took it out of the container, is from the same brand, this Anthony's, which I'm, I'm always trying somebody new. When I was in Spain, I went to Barcelona, how many years has it been now? 2012. So over five, five and a half years ago. I went to Spain and I always wondered what this tiger nut, and I had actually seen one of those shows and I'm thinking it was, I don't know if it was Anthony Bourdain or the other one. Um, who's the bald guy who, who, who does those reviews? He'll eat anything. I forgot his name. He has his own show too. And I love, I, I love Bourdain. Bourdain's funny. He's hilarious. Um, but anyway, I remember watching the show and they, and that's when I learned, you know, when you hear tiger nuts, what's you're thinking, Oh, or is this like, you know, what is it? The, the Rocky mountain oyster kind of deal? Well, no, it's a tuber. It's a little tuber and they're really high in nutrients as well. Tiger nuts are really good. There's another name for them. But when you go to Spain and you see this horchata, horchata, or sometimes it's with an X and sometimes it's with an H, this drink is like so yummy. And it's, uh, it's just, they do put too much sugar depending on where you go. And you got to be a little bit, you know, aware and ask. <clears throat> Fortunately, even though my Spanish isn't as good as my Italian, I was able to get by with Italian with no problem wherever they didn't speak English. And I prefer to use Italian anyway. And they were just, oh, they were, it was delicious. So I got my fill on horchata and I brought a bunch of tiger nuts back with me. And oh my God, they're really, really yummy. They're really, really yummy. Like, like on the same level as almonds. Even we think in terms of almond milk, they do the horchata milk, the, the, the tiger nut milk. It's the bomb diggity. I'm telling you, the bomb diggity baby. And there's a little history behind my bomb diggity. Y'all hear me say bomb diggity. I've been saying that for years. I don't know where I came up with bomb diggity, but I know where diggity came up from. So when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me that I used to call diggity, used to call dogs diggity. Mommy, look at the diggity. And I think it was because there was a cartoon or something, hot diggity dog or something like that. But I just used to call dogs diggity, and I, 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 I don't know. I thought, I think it's cute. So, you know, do you have any stories like that? See, that's the kind of thing we love in the group. Come and tell us one of your silly stories, because uh, that's what this life is about, is, is highlighting the positive and being fun, being ridiculous, being authentically who you are. You know, spread the love, you know, learn, we get to learn about ourselves through others. Relationship is how we grow. We hide in a mon you know, as in monasteries or ashrams or you know, up in the Himalayas. I mean, how are we going to grow? You got to be the calm and the chaos. That's where life is at. So, okay, so we've got we've got the cassava flour, the coconut flour, tiger nut flour, and now we're moving on to the table two. Let's see, four and a half tablespoons of ground flaxseed. This is going to help with the binding. Not that other kind of binding action, by the way. Did I mention? Rice binds me. This is flaxseed. It'll mix, it'll mix it up. So we're doing four and a half. One, 
two, three, four. I used to, okay, when I used to do, um, and a half. When I used to still eat dairy, and, and I do sometimes still have dairy when I travel, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, especially like if I can't find a cappuccino. But I also know that cappuccino isn't exactly optimal because when you add dairy to antioxidants, it cancels out the antioxidants and the dairy's no good either. But I learned that years ago too. I didn't know it for a long time. And I lived in Naples, Italy, so I had the best of the coffees, right? Prefer it with almond milk. But I don't do coffee as often as I used to. So things like that are little treats for me. And, and it's something that I rarely partake in anymore. I mean, I do make the coffee kombucha now, which is new back in the kitchen, which is awesome. In fact, this is my coffee kombucha. <clears throat> Look at that. That is coffee kombucha as opposed to the regular, and this is a two gallon jar, right? Do y'all like kombucha? Do y'all like coffee? This, yummy. Now the regular kombucha, if you've never seen that because you saw the SCOBY, is this is a smaller batch that I made because I do a smaller batch. And I know it's probably gonna come up, we're coming up on a full moon right? I think it's a full moon coming up. So this one, this is just the plain kombucha. I make two different batches. One's in the two gallon jug, jug that's a blend of um, different teas. And this particular one is just white tea, right? Because I like to have the, the mellowness of white tea. Now white tea is much more expensive. And so this is my own personal little stash of kombucha. I share it a lot. My dad gets to partake in it. He comes over, he's like, I'm out of kombucha. I give him two, two to, well, two big containers of it. And then I also share, share it with my studio, the yoga studio that I teach at. And then I also partake in a lot of the events supporting them. Um, but I, I have my girlfriends are like, hey, what flavor did you bring? I love to share my booch. And so, yeah. Let me know, do you do the booch? Do you do the coffee? Have you ever seen coffee kombucha out there? Cause I don't know that it, there's, it's in sale. So this is the bananas mixed in so far with the flaxseed. Now we need coconut oil. So thank you, Jen, yes. I know it's been a while. Jen and I are gonna to have to get together here soon. I have an idea. Jen and I, we need to go and do a food review together. How does that sound? Because that's something I have yet to do, is do a food review with a friend. So now, I'm gonna put three tablespoons of coconut oil in here. There's, well, let's, it's a little over one. And this organic virgin Kirkland. So that, two. I don't think there's such a thing as overdoing it with the coconut oil, but I could be wrong. Three. Oops. And you know when it goes all over the place, you just rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in, because it's good for you, right? <laughs> Here's the thing about putting stuff on your skin, right? <clears throat> Tell me, what do you use on your skin? Do you use products that are natural, or do you make your own? I like to make my own, too. That's another fun thing to do. I prefer that everything I put on my skin is something I can possibly eat, because that's skin food, right? Coconut oil is great, right? So whatever. I just took a shower, so this is nice. It's a nice little treat. And I had already put a, a bunch of, uh, I love hydrosol spraying my face. And I had already done that before. And then I put on some of my, my uh, 
oil that I had put on before. Um, it's got hilichrysum and clary sage and some other things in it. It's also really good for your hair. Now, my hair is super long. I don't know if y'all have this problem, but my hair goes down, down here. It's in a ponytail right now. And it easily gets all snarled up. Does anybody else have that problem? So like my ends and everything, like I've got lint in my hair. It drives me crazy. Crazy! Kombucha is a probiotic. It's really good for the, the gut floor, the belly. I've been using um, kombucha for years now. I made, started making it about, oh gosh, it's been over seven years now. And I especially just became, uh, I, I was never really big in soda. I mean, I did drink it because my dad had a restaurant and he had the fountain sodas. We would mix all the different fountain sodas together and have a melange, you know, this mix. And, you know, it was just the fizziness, right? But the fizziness is really bad for, because it's, it's CO2, it's really bad for the joints and the bones. Um, let me see. Okay, moving on. But kombucha is a great way to transition it's much better we got a raw update how many people do we have in here 183 so i've made an executive rad decision that we are going to give the ninja away on valentine's day but we're also going to give a what away today what what so check it out i'm super excited in the comment Ooh. section i want you all to tell me what you believe the optimal diet is for you right here, right now. Are you on keto? Are you 80-10-10? Are you, are you Weight Watchers? Are you vegan? Are you raw? In the comment section, tell us what you believe is the most optimal diet. Number one, you have to do that. Number two, share this video, of course. Number three, invite 50 friends. And number four, this is how we're gonna give it away today, all right? Go into the group, Radiculously Raw Authentic, introduce yourself and type in hashtag raw and rad and then i'm gonna give this away at 7 p.m tonight after she goes live she's doing day five of rad kundalini and if you all want to get motivated and inspired watch this rock and rad star do her uh, kundalini yoga so y'all heard it if y'all listen i'm not going to repeat it and if we get 300 people in here i'll do a love spin boom and uh tiggy might show up <laughs> And uh, we'll play and have fun. So we'll give this away at 7 p.m. And we'll still give it away uh, Valentine's Day. What? What? That's so back. cool. I, he surprised me just now. Boom! Yay! So I'm excited. I didn't realize he was going to do that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, again, you heard what he said. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But let's get let's let's get a winner in here today. How exciting is that? I'm sure there's somebody out there if you're transitioning and you need a ninja, this is a great tool. We all need it. <clears throat> so again, when you share the video, remember hashtag rad and raw and rad. And also make sure this is you're sharing in the groups and that you go over and you're introducing yourself. We love that. And I don't remember everything you said. That's not so bad. So we're moving on. Ginger. I have this thing about having ginger in everything. So, and plus, with this, trying to clean up my, 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 my inflammation, because the body basically creates this <clears throat> phlegmy. That's how I've interpreted it. And I really came to, to terms on this with myself, because I realized, you know what? Phlegm is the way the body pulls all that crap out all those foreign invaders. So when you get sick or you have inflammation or anything that's going on in your body, your body is, is creating this, this barrier around where the, the inflammation or the, the infection or the foreign invader is trying to capture it and, dry, and take it out. So the body has to find a way to get it out of the body right? So inflammation, it puffs up, moves around there. The white blood cells are like your little ninjas getting in there, trying to 
keep it safe. Just like when you go into a, a clean room and you're having an operation, they're performing their, an internal surgery, right? <clears throat> but we don't think of it that way. We go, why am I all inflamed? Why do I have this puffiness? It's natural when your body goes into healing mode. And inflammation in the form of phlegm is the way the body carries it out of the body. That's why don't swallow it because you're afraid somebody's going to get upset and say, ooh, that's gross. Years ago, I remember people were upset because I, I spit in the sink. My dad's wife, she flipped out. She said, that's gross. I'm like, I'd rather spit it out than swallow it because what is that going to do to your body? It's going to continue to keep it in that situation where it's got to find a way to stick, get rid of it. And what goes in must come out. So, <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty darn good today. I hope you all are too. And I hope those of you who have been going through the same thing with this, this viral infection or the cough or the cold that, you, that we've had, I hope you're really take, exercising the self-care. It took me a while to really go, okay, that's it. I know I need to do this. So I have been taking more time to sleep. And um, I took a little break a couple days in between the yoga challenge because I, I was still coughing. And I didn't really, I, especially the one. So, I'm breaking this up because this is a food processor. It's not gonna, I do try to make it a little smoother. We'll see how this turns out. I'm excited, I love doing this. This is so much fun. So we've got the ginger, we're gonna also, ooh, uh, I think I have to go grab the lacuma because I finished off the lacuma out of the jar. I put, and sometimes I put superfoods in here. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of Makuna Purians in here as well. Oopsie. All right. So I put this about a tablespoon and a half actually. And then. Lakuma is amazing. Gives it kind of like a caramel flavor. I'm going to grab that in a second. But the next thing, I like to put a teaspoon of cinnamon. So this is Ceylon cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon is really good for you. It's the real stuff. It's really good for, for those of you who may have blood pressure. Uh, it's good for blood pressure, but it's good for blood sugar if you're diabetic, okay? Because it regulates the blood sugar. Oops, I got stuff out. I dropped the spoon. I dropped the spoon, y'all. Where'd it go? There it is. Pop goes weasel. Spoon. All right, then I have coriander seed, right? Guess what? Coriander seed. Do y'all like Honey Nut Cheerios when you're growing up? Coriander seed. This is what gives it its flavor. It smells like Honey Nut Cheerios. I loved Honey Nut Cheerios. And it really does give it that flavor. I'm going all in and going with a tablespoon of this because this stuff really will enhance the flavor of the pancakes. <clears throat> Did I mention how good that smells? Yummy! Now, okay. I'm, I'm trying to stay to my recipe. It's really hard. I'm like going, but I'm going to grab, grab some other things. And real quick, I got to slide that way because that's where the lacuma is, I think. Hold on. Maybe it's under here and I just didn't realize it. Nope. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. tail showing. So we got lacuma powder and lacuma is what I was just mentioning. Lacuma is amazing because it's a superfood and it's super yummy. 
it gives it that caramel flavor as well. So if you ever wanted to make like a caramel sauce, you take some dates, a little bit of water and the lacuma and whip it up and there you got it. It is like <sighs> great dipping for like, oh, I don't know, apples. Super yum. So in the lacuma, we're doing a tablespoon. It smells so good. Now I've now, I've had the fruit. I believe I've had lucuma when I was in Nicaragua. Um, I think it's Peruvian as well. It really is yummy. So I'm doing a tablespoon of the lucuma in here. Oh my god! I already know this is gonna be so good. I so I was gonna make this like t for the past two days. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make pancakes, but I just didn't feel like it and. I was really trying to catch up, you know, when you're sick and you're not 100% optimally functioning. I had to put some things on hold. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got I got to take a rest because my body just needs it. And I, I know this this month I'm teaching yoga locally here today at four o'clock. So I'm going out and then I'm coming back and then I'm going to teach y'all my 40 day Kundalini yoga challenge. It's rad, y'all. If you've never done kundalini yoga, make sure, make sure you've got your notifications to this page set to see first. See when we go live because this 40-day challenge, and you can go back and watch the videos anytime you want, which is the beauty. It's all about just tapping into your inner truth, your wisdom, love, truth, right? It's all about your personal truth. Nobody can tell you. <laughs> Nobody can tell you what your truth is. You yourself are the answer. You yourself hold the key. And it's trusting it. It's going within. It's having Buddy come in and tell you, I know my truth, I gotta go outside. He, he's so funny, he communicates with me like that. And it's awareness and mindfulness of what it is within you that's going on and not expecting the outside world to, to fix it for you. So when we go in, we don't no longer have to go without. Mm. So if I can't read all of your comments, I promise you I'll go back through them later, Debbie. And I see that you're asking how does a body break down all the very, and then it cuts off. But I will come back and, and try to go through the comments as best as I can, okay? Or the ninja will reach in and give you some sprinkle dust love. Again, sharing the video is caring. And I here's what it looks like so far. I promise you these are going to be, these are worth the wait. So now I'm going to put, um, I have vanilla bean in here. I'm going to put a teaspoon of, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Where did my spoon go? I'm really good at hiding spoons on myself. Oh, awesome, Debbie. I'd love to hear more of your story in the group. See, that's, that's why I love this. The social media, it's, we're all about the web of inclusion. So, she, you know, that's why we accept everybody where they're at in their journey. I know from my own personal journey, the first time I encountered somebody who said that they were gluten-free, that they had an allergy to gluten, I was living in Naples, Italy. And I'm like going, what? What's that? Like, oh, I'm sorry for you. Because my dad had a pizzeria. I grew up on gluten. I was living in Italy, people. And I had no idea that down the road, I would find out that the reason I suffered with constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, wasn't just the stress, which it, it, for me, it's also stress, but it was the gluten. Wheat specifically too, that that was what happened. And it, and it totally changed the course of my life because at the moment I, I keyed into, okay, I know what I ate, I know what I prepared, and here I am having this reaction and I was itching like a banshee. I had rash all over my abdomen, across here in my armpits, the arm creases. I was itching like crazy for three days. And it was wheat flour that I utilized. And my stomach was out. I, was, I couldn't go to the bathroom. I was constipated. I was miserable. That's when I knew it was time to take my life back. That's why I started changing what I ate, what I paid attention to. I read the ingredients. And then I started learning, oh my gosh, gluten comes in forms that nobody even talks about. A great example, you know, malt. 
it doesn't say gluten, but malt is coming from gluten. You know, like uh, when you see some of the ingredient, maltodextrum, that's gluten, that's wheat. And I had to get really, really astute and, and clear on all those other words. Wheatgrass, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a cow, I'm not gonna go out and graze for grass. And if you have a grass allergy, that's even worse. You know, they don't talk about grass allergies. Steel cutouts are delicious, I love them, but you also still, again, depending on how, this is really live, D. I promise you, D, this is live. I'm telling my story and I'm making banana pancakes. Don't you love these little glass jars? These are Quattro Stagionis, these are Bormiolo, Ro Bormioli Roccos, I love the jars. This is my vanilla. <laughs> So my personal journey was a matter of a, a physical crisis that I'd been experiencing. And for those of you who are allergic to grasses out there, I want you to be astute and know that they don't label the food. They don't label processed food and tell you, oh, and by the way, if you have a grass allergy, they do talk about peanut allergies, gluten allergies, soy allergies, you know, all these other allergies, but they don't talk about the people who have allergies to grass, and I know a lot of them. I had, the reason I found out I was allergic to wheat grass was because I created a smoothie and my girlfriend, I didn't even put two and two together until she started going into anaphylactic shock. That was a huge wake up because then I was regurgitating for two plus hours everything in my physical body. Everything in my physical body was coming up. I had, couldn't even I couldn't even get rid of anything any longer. It was just stomach acid and it felt like death. And I don't wish that on anybody. And if you ever experience that, you really start need to look at what you're putting in your body because your body is reacting to it. It's trying to heal, get rid of whatever the foreign invader is. It's not normal to feel that way. It is not normal to disintegrate or your body to degenerate, degenerate. And so that's why we created this group because we know everybody's at a different point in their journey. It's not just about the food. We've got the meal plan, which is phenomenal. There are all these recipes that I create, created, and Tom. The two of us collaborated on this because we, number one, we both love to eat. Number two, we like to create and share. And sharing is caring. That's why we created this web of inclusion, this platform, so that everybody comes together. Oh, thank you. Aren't they beautiful? Because we know when we ourselves were on our journeys, you couldn't tell us. It's not for us to tell you. Nobody can tell anybody what they need. Your truth is your truth. And, you know, it's compassion for self that you can extend it for others. And that's why we talk about harvesting self-love, about showing up and you being you, being ridiculously, authentically you, right? When you show up as you, right? And you are embracing all that you are and just going with your own personal soul's flow. You're gonna inspire people through your own experiences in life living. Be inspirational by being you. Don't try to be what others think you should be, right? <clears throat> Thank you, Frida. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're setting the notifications so that you know when we go live. Um, and also just, again, you know, this is what it's all about. When we share our experiences, sometimes we glean insight into ourselves because that's what relationship is about. So my sharing, my story may bring something up for you and go, wow, okay, whatever it is for you. Yeah. Wheatgrass was deadly for me. And so I, I truly, like, I got really upset about it because I realized I'd been doing those, those Garden of Life um, protein powders and green drinks and not just Garden of Life. There's other proteins and, and green supplements out there that when I read the ingredients, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do barley grass. I can't, and I used to love barley. Can't do barley, can't do wheatgrass, can't do any glutens. You know, I, when I came across some of the different ways of creating probiotics and this and that, Rejuvelac, I gotta stay away from wheat, wheat berries, wheat grass, and they tell you, oh, but it's clipped, the wheat grass is clipped before it germinates. 
but it's grown from the seed, which means it had to germinate, people. It's common sense, but not really, like, thought about. It's not discussed. It's like we just kind of accept sometimes what people are telling us instead of looking at it and going, okay, is that the truth? Is that the reality? If you're cutting off something before it germinates, what is it germinated from? A seed. And the seed is the most potent of it all. So it's the whole, some of us, not everybody is that allergic. Some people have just a sensitivity. I mean, you gotta, you gotta learn through your own personal experience. And so we honor each and every one of you that shows up in the Ridiculously Authentic group. And we love you all there. We hold that space for you so that you, yourselves, we created it closed now so that you feel safe, that you have your privacy, that if you didn't want people, friends and family to see what you're doing or what you're posting or going live, you have that now. In the beginning, we just wanted to keep it open, but we re realized that there are some people that drop in that don't necessarily need to be there. And so we hope that that eases a lot of anybody's anxieties or concerns. Because we love you all, keeping it raw, staying rad. All right, so we're gonna finish this up. So I got the Lakuma out. Where'd I put it? I've also used this brand, it's HealthWorks. Lakuma. Some people, oh look, there's a recipe on the back. <laughs> I don't, I'm so bad. Recipe, I'll change it up even if it tells me one thing. Very nice. That's the other thing, if you put it in chocolates, which I made chocolates too, I'll show you my chocolates in a little bit. I can't, I get, okay, so I love making chocolate, but I make a medicinal Ayurvedic blend and they're so good. I, I personally only need two a day, not at the max. Oh, oh. You have to show them the chocolates. They're in the mm. containers. You don't have to take out everything. But. Well, you always show them. You show them this way. Show them to me. She's a ninja chocolatier, y'all. And they're like, they got, li hand. they got little ganja ganja. They make you like <laughs> laugh and hold on to rad stones and go into like the fourth dimension. They're these, really, really These rad, I did in hearts and I put a little bit of almond butter in them, but I realized while I was doing it, I didn't have enough chocolate to fill them fully. Those are the best, though. What you've got? Let me show them. Ooh, we're gonna get we're gonna get some love thumb action over here. <coughs> check mm. these out, and I forgot she put. Check these out. So she put these are hearts, y'all, with hearts in them. Look. How adorable she is that? She put little ninja hearts in them. What? Look at this. Y'all want some? <laughs> They're fun. And they really help for me to allow my body a little bit more relaxation and healing. So, yeah, they are yummy, too. They are really, really good. I heard you say chocolate, so I wanted to show them. Oh, my gosh. I was getting there, right? Almond over soy, Dorsel. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I totally recommend almond over soy. I have found in my own personal experience, <laughs> somebody cut, did, did a nice shaving action this morning. So for me, when I consume even the slightest about amount of soy, and unless it's fermented, I don't touch soy personally. I find that I'll get all of these breakouts, like it, it messes with your adrenals and your whole hormonal system, male and female. For men, it's like basically estrogen, you don't need that. And for babies especially, this is what concerns me the most. Giving soy to babies is like giving them doses of, of birth control. It's, yeah, there's some crazy stuff going on out there. But it gives me like all sorts of breakouts. And so soy, it just doesn't work in my body. So there's a lot of people who like it. They claim they like the taste, but I'm gonna tell you from my personal experience, when I was doing soy milk, I was like, I don't even like the taste. Who am I kidding? The only way I like the taste is if it was sweetened up and flavored. It's kind of like a lot of different things that we eat. A lot of times we don't realize it's the sauce we like, but not the actual food we're eating. This is the desensitization of all the chemicals and foods out there that has created this environment of people reaching for the salt and pepper all the time. You don't even realize that it's already salty because you, your, your taste buds are so oversensitized. You know? Like, what, what sauce is special, though? We're not going to go there. That's delicious, and it really is good. But if we eat food in its natural state, 
we allow our body to clear out, you will find that your taste buds will be enhanced, that you will find yourself using less salt, using less spices and herbs, just the minimal, you know, just to enhance it versus to cover it up or to make it better because you don't like it to begin with. It's, it's key. So anybody who just asked and was joining in now, aside from seeing my beautiful, look at those molds, aren't those cool? I love, I love chocolate making. It's just, it's one of my main, many passions. I spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen and uh, it's, it's my favorite place. So anybody who's ever eaten any of my foods, you know it's something special. And so I am making these pancakes up and I'm almost ready to hit the, hit the pulse on here. I just have a couple more ingredients. That's all I need to do is just a dash of nutmeg. Did I put allspice in that last time? I have a little bit of allspice. I'll add a little allspice. And again, making sure that you're hydrating. This is my tea blend I, I showed earlier. It's nice. It's nice because it um, it's opening up the sin sinuses as well. Okay, before I go on to the nutmeg, I, I decided to put a little bit of allspice because this is gonna be like the spicy pancakes, and I mean in in a in a flavorful chai blend style. I can put a little star anise, but I'm not I'm not feeling star anise in this today. I'm gonna put some ashwagandha, which is always good. It's a good for the um, adrenals. It's a tone of fire. Speaking of adrenals, right? So we're going to put a tablespoon of ashwagandha in here. We already put the Makuna prurians. Those two together are, are huge. They're so good for you. I should put some mesquite, but I'm running out of mesquite. So we hold off a mesquite. We've got the ginger in there. The nutmeg is hiding behind the thyme. It's about time, people. Time, time, time. Thyme's really good for the antiviral. You can make up a bunch of thyme tea just adding some hot water with thyme leaves, fresh or dried. Nutmeg. Now I've got half a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna just pour some, put it in here like this. One of the things I found personally, like when I make my chocolates, a dash of nutmeg to me enhances and brings out the vanilla even more potently. That's my personal experience, I'm just saying. Now, the reason that a lot of recipes say a pinch of salt is for safe flavor balancing. When you take a pinch of salt, which I'm doing, that's actually kind of a big pinch. It's gonna bring out all those flavors. It's like, there, there are five flavors um, in the sensory realm of food that when you bring them all together, you, you balance, it's called flavor balancing. So there it's that, I don't need this open. I do this, I have drawers open. Sometimes the refrigerator will be open. This is how I roll in my kitchen sometimes. And so we have another thing. If you all wanna reduce the amount of sugar that you use, this is, okay, we're not doing that one. We're doing, where's the vanilla? Vanilla's hiding back here. So we have Vanilla Stevia by Omica, and I really like this brand personally. I also use the Butterscotch Toffee a lot in my, in my chocolate blends. It's just really nice. I have Stevia plants growing, and if you've never had Stevia leaf, you take the Stevia leaf and some mint leaf fresh off, off of the plants, put them in your mouth. OMG, it's like breath freshener. It's so good for you too. Because stevia is a great, um, I want to say it's antimicrobial. It's super good. And it's, and it's sweet. It's crazy. The first time I took a, um, I have a moringa tree out there too. The moringa, I took the seeds. With, I bought some. I ordered them online. I still have this package. I, I actually planted some moringas out back, so I have moringa. If you've never had Moringa, this is rad stuff. You chew on it, it tastes really awful, really awful, like gross. Like you're gonna be like, your face will do this, like bitter. Then you drink water and it sweetens. 
It is the most crazy thing I ever experienced. You, if, if y'all have seen my dad, my dad is super rad, right? My dad, <laughs> we got him to do the love spin boom too. My dad and I, he was with me. I said, here, try one of these. I just got him. We both looked at each other like, we reached for our glasses of water at the same time. We're like, oh my God, I got to drink water. And then we're like, that's weird. That was really funky. <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever. So we're going to start out with 10 drops of the vanilla stevia because I want to make sure I don't over sweeten it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What was that show? Eleven. Dun, 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 dun. It was one of those when I was a kid I used to watch. Electric Company, I think. So now we have almond extract for this particular blend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it's time to blend it up in the food processor. Sessor, sessor, sessor. What, what? Hi, Rebecca, how are you today? Tell me in the comments where you're tuning in from if this is your first time. Make sure you're sharing this video. You just never know. Somebody might might need a little little recipe to make up some plant-based cassava rad sexy pancakes on this sexy Sunday. Awesome! I used to live in Maine. Where in Maine, Jamie? And hi Jackie. I'm in Clearwater, Florida, right across the state from you. And Savannah. Woo cold Vermont. So I lived, I'm originally from Boston. Ooh, we got the Netherlands in the house. What, what? I was stationed in Belgium right across from Maastricht. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I lived in Holton, Maine as well. That's cold. That's cold. Near Bath, Brunswick. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I lived in Holton right across from New Brunswick and wow, Chicago. Yep. Windy City. Tampa Dorsal, what, what? We're representing in the house. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna read your comments as we go. I'm gonna, I'm also pouring this love energy in here. Let me tell you, that's the other thing I do here is everything in my food is all about love. Mm-hmm. <laughs> time I make this I do it a little different and I don't know if y'all notice this is messy it is not mixing like you would think it to right I got Tom bombed I love it <laughs> I got love spin boom bombed <laughs> boom so I put the initially I started out with the bananas right and as you can see the bananas are all over the place still chunky this is why it's always fun to be in the kitchen with me because I never know, especially if it's a new recipe. And the bananas, and it's, and it's really doughy. See, I might need to add a little bit of liquid to this because it's not quite, it's, it's a lot more doughy and each, and it could be the cassava as well. Hey Carl. Carl's been with us for a long time. We love Carl. Can't wait till Carl goes live in the group. Let me tell you, that's when the world stops over here. Because we, we know you've got it in you. We're going to see you 
we're going to see you one day. And you're going to share with us all your wisdom because you've got some pretty rad stuff going on over there, Carl. So I'm going to flavor. Mmm. That's an interesting blend. Mmm. That's good. But it definitely needs a little bit more moisture. And this is the key to when you make that. It's a big blender. Blender. Look at Glenda. I'm Lana. My name is Lana. Just in case you did, just tuning in. It's really tasty. Mmm. See, my bananas aren't as soft as I'm used to having them. I can put a seventh banana in here. That's what I'm going to do. I wonder if this is any good. Mm -hmm. Might need a little bit more coconut oil, too. Because I did put a lot of flour. And <clears throat> working with the cassava is a little bit more. There's a lot more fiber to it. <laughs> it's a big food processor. Tell me what kind of food processor you like. What you what you use. <clears throat> and make sure you're drinking your water. Or some kombucha. I got my booch. Got my love mug. It's all about the booch. I'm drinking my water. Wow, I'm almost done that whole thing. Okay, and you know what? The other thing is, is that I've been doing the honey for my throat. And this is what's left over of my cannabis-infused uh, honey. And this particular one is really good because it's a, it's a blended, it, it's so good, so good. That's about as much as I'm gonna get out of that, I think. I'm really trying. I got a little bit more of a different type of honey blend that I had made, but I'm gonna have to stock up on more local honey. Yeah, I know, and I don't have any Manuka, but this is Florida local. I did. I used to buy Manuka honey, and it's really expensive. But um, I can't say that it's any better than the local stuff because local stuff is gonna boost you. From my personal experience the local stuff is going to boost you on whatever's in the area and i don't know mm -hmm. yeah david i make my own cannabis infused honey and oils and chocolates which i just showed so now i'm also drinking tea Oh, Mr. B's Honey Out in Ruskin. Thank you, Dorsell. I will check them out. That's not too far, is it? Because I like to find a good honey place. And my dad likes to drive out to this place. I think it's in Lakeland. And it's like, you show up and he has, they have this little, st little wooden building. Couple cows looking at you right next to it. And it's, it's on a, um, honesty system so you just leave the money and you pick up the honey money honey it's just a nice equal exchange right and i love that idea that's fantastic so now we need a little bit more i'm actually going to add a little bit of the water let's see if i measure this out it would probably be best because i don't want to overdo it so we're gonna say a quarter cup of water for now, just because we wanna break down all this. <coughs> I might have, I, like I said, I probably need, it's cold in here. Thank you, Ricky, I appreciate that. It's kinda of long. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, exactly, Kelly. And, and cassava is huge and in fiber, it really does, is the starch in it. But it's really good for aminos and all sorts of other goodies. So, where'd I go? Okay. We're gonna try this again and see if that is what it needed, with just a little bit of moisture. I know I might have to add a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you.
it also does this. It needs more moisture. Alrighty. So I do need to push down the nanners. Ooh, that smell. I don't necessarily think I need more moisture. I think we are good, but I might need a little bit more coconut oil. Um, that definitely made a difference. Mmm. The they're delicious. You know, and here's the thing, because it's all plant-based, those of you who like dough, this is a healthy dough. You don't have to worry about salmonella from eggs and all that other stuff. When we were kids, me and my sisters, I'm gonna need, I am gonna put coconut oil in this. And cassava definitely needs water. Mm. I actually think I'm gonna go, it'll be a half a cup total. So I'm gonna do another quarter cup of the, the water. So it's half a cup in total with water because yeah, the cassava needs it. What's SOS free? What does that mean? I'm, not, I'm unfamiliar with the term. have a reminder set to remind me that I'm teaching it for. And yes, I just spit out a little bit of phlegm out of my throat. Because when you it co comes up, that's because it's meant to go out. So don't be embarrassed if somebody gives you a hard time about it. Tell them, hey, get over it. You know, or <laughs> somebody used to tell me, get build a bridge and get over it. I was like, oh, that's pretty clever. I'll build a bridge. So I need another tablespoon. I'm gonna go with the tablespoon of the coconut oil. And so because it's cold here, my coconut oil is, hot, is, is not softened or liquefied. <sighs> and I know that would make a huge difference in this, right? Thank you, Jade. Hope y'all are sharing this video and doing all the things you need to do to win that blender. Especially since there's a special giveaway today. Now that's a surprise. Oopsie. I have all sorts of little gadgets in here. Oh, and so here, like, I sometimes have to take Kratom. This is my own, like, like little Kratom stash. I take Kratom, if you've never heard of that. Kratom is good for pain. They, can, they also use it to get people off of opiates and prescription drugs. And it comes from a tree leaf, crushed. So, yes, I'm making pancakes, and I'm going to do two different versions, some in the, the oven. I actually should reheat, I should heat that oven up, huh? Preheat the oven to 385. That's about what I wrote down. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to get the, the coconut oil to, to uh, melt. Mmm. Oh, and I'm going to add some more of the vanilla stevia because, yes, cassava. So far, it's cassava, coconut flour, tiger nut flour, ground flax seed. Again, if you don't know this brand, I really, really like the stevias. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 18 drops of that. Kratom, yes, you it's almost spelled, uh, it's K-R-A-T-O-M, and it's good for pain relief, and I found that when I mix it with vitamin C as well, it also helps to aid the body in the healing process. So I've dealt with chronic pain most of my life, pretty much the, all of my life, to where I have degenerated discs and bulging discs, and um, pinch nerves I've dealt with this entire left side atrophied years ago I couldn't turn my head to the left but I only just found it like just over a year ago 
and it's been a godsend and my body I don't use it all the time that's the thing because you can build up a tolerance and you have to cleanse yourself and then you can go back to using it everything needs a break even taking supplements you don't need to take supplements every single day and when you do you're probably just processing and passing them through your body builds up these stores right um, Ricky, I, I can't give you a source because I don't really have one anymore because I, I actually was, I was selling it myself, but, um, there, you gotta be careful about your source too, just like with CBD and cannabis. Yeah. Was, was, was he peeking in? He does that, huh? Yeah. People do use it. It's, it's phenomenal. It's also one of those things they're trying to put it on the schedule of drugs, just like marijuana, right? So you know they're doing something right when, or it's a good product when it's a threat to the pharmaceutical industry. Just saying. So now, okay, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna preheat the oven. I can't imagine it being on. I tried uh, Vicodin once when this when I had my injury with my neck. I took one once y'all and I was I thought I could rule the world I'm like okay I'm fine and the next day I woke up and I was in more pain I went to the not the chiropractor but I went to an acupuncturist's office and I had two weeks worth of visits or ten visits like all together because I was I could not sleep on my left side for like months and I was excru in excruciating pain. I was a single woman living in Naples, Italy, driving myself to work in a Mini Cooper on cobblestone roads. Any vibration, any wind blowing, it was painful. I ended up being put on Neurontin and Gabit Gabapentin. It was the most painful thing ever. I don't wish that on anyone. It wasn't until four months later I recognized that all the anxiety that I was going through that would bubble up after the every eight hours, then you're supposed to take it again. Oh my God, y'all that it was like and I and I was watching myself through the process working in a Navy environment on the military base because I was a government contractor working with um, computer systems the IT industry that's where my old life and I'm sitting there watching my 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 brain going through this <clears throat> we already had a hostile environment where we had young troops in the Navy who's leadership wasn't guiding them and they were cursing it was um in a help desk environment where everybody could hear everything and talking about stuff that shouldn't have been talked about in a phone up environment i would have people say i'd, I'd turn around and say could you please lower your voice or take the conversation elsewhere and they can't hear me and having the other person go do you do you want me to speak to them because i can hear every word they're saying and because it came hostile, I was a target because I was actually trying to be professional in that environment. And unfortunately, at that time, and having the physical ailments that I was going through, I was disabled technically, but I was pushing through it because my mind and my belief system was, I need to work. And I'm the only one taking care of myself. Nobody reminded me that, hey, aren't you paying for disability, like short term, long term, which I was with my company. Nobody gave me that suggestion. I didn't even realize it was an option, even though I was paying for it. Has, do you all do this? Have you all experienced this in your life where you're afraid to take care of a benefit because number one, you forgot you even had it and you're paying for it. But number two, because your belief system is so entrained in the work, 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 right? Go along to get along, but yet mm, that wasn't so difficult. That was difficult in that environment, especially being a woman in the IT industry. And when you're really good at your job, because I was the top performer on that desk in that office. And so it, the irony of how things that unfolded with, with that experience were losing my job as a result. And it had nothing to do with the medication because I was still professional. I just recognized that it created an anxiety in me that I didn't respond or act from, but I was aware of. And so, yeah, that's just one of my little stories and experiences in my life. And I don't wish pharmaceuticals on anyone because it made me feel horrible and worse as a result. I walked over here to turn on the oven. So sometimes that happens, I'll forget what I came over here for. 
So 385. I have this in here I have to pull out. We got these sheets and they're supposed to be usable in the oven. So we're going to try these. I'm actually going to lower it. I don't want these to be too high. I'm going to go down to Let's try 255. Plus I've got the dehydrator over here as well. So, moving on up, moving on up. We're gonna turn this back on and we're gonna do the dance and see if a love spin boom enters the room. <laughs> can smell pancakes so yeah during that time when I was actually working over and and I never really spoke about my anxiety for a long time in my life because my life has changed so much in the past I didn't I was embarrassed to call that I, I, I could I couldn't tell you that I was on I was depressed at any point though I've experienced it even still in these years and I do still have moments where I have to go within. And I honor that now. And I don't want to call it depression now because I want to show myself that, no, this is a moment where we're always expanding or contracting at all times. And so when you can sit with it and go, okay, this is an opportunity to learn about myself and to really confront what is this that's bubbling up and where is it coming from? Just doing that in itself is shifting it from the world is falling around me to what is it that's bringing this up? Because that's where the healing's gonna happen is confronting it, sitting with it and feeling it fully because you're gonna get so much insight and I journal for that reason because the more I journal, I can trace it back. In times when I've been depressed or anxious, I question myself, where's this coming from? What is this trying to tell me about myself in this moment right here? Because every opportunity is an open port, right? It's, everything is an opportunity. So instead of seeing it as deep rest, exactly. Honoring yourself where you're at. This is another reason if you don't, don't know about the 40 day rad kundalini yoga teacher, tra teacher, not teacher, the 40 day rad kundalini yoga challenge that I created because it's a way for you to tune back in and to think or to listen to the thoughts and just allow them to come in. It's how you learn about who you are. <clears throat> we can say we know who we are, but do we really? Right? And so, yeah, I'm telling you that my, I find that any emotion, energy and motion is an opportunity to go within and to really become more aware because that emotion's coming up for a reason. Anything that comes to surface and the emotions come from the head, by the way, it's the mind. Emotions respond in the body because the body responds to the mind. When you think you feel something in your heart or your gut, it is a signal. It's telling you something, but it's the mind that's created that reaction. And that's key in learning and learning who you are. Nobody can tell you what that's all about. Only you know you. Mm. Oh, these are good. These are really good. These are really, really good. Mm. I could eat the dough, it's that good. But there's still bananas that are chunky in there, so I still have to move it down a little bit more. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs>
OMG, yum, yum, yum. Gonna be in my tum tum tum. Whoops, that was a fallout. <laughs> I'm not missing beat. These are so good. OMG, yum. Nip slip for us. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so there are some, there's going to be some chunks in here and that's okay. Mm. This is super yum. I almost want to add a little bit more vanilla, but they're just right because on top of that, did I put, I didn't even put maple syrup in here. Sometimes I'll use dates, but we're kind of like no dates in the house see this part of your lip no dates in the house if you, what's your favorite date brand y'all do you have favorite dates or your favorite type of date like i love the medjools but i also love the bodies which are super yummy they're caramel like my girlfriend turned me on to them what's your favorite date type of date and what's the brand that you buy the most are you a date connoisseur a date lover because I know I am just saying <clears throat> this is so good so I'll warn you if I was making this for you you all you gotta remember if you haven't seen me before I lick everything because my food is that good and I don't like to waste good food and I'm a true vic I'm a true foodie so I'm gonna drink some more water actually I'm gonna finish off my booch it's all about the love baby you get your medjools from Costco okay I have gotten medjools there I like to get the big I want to say 11 pounds of medjools and I get them yeah, whole food too. Yeah, okay. Majules. See, we're all Majul lovers, right? There's a place in Tampa called Sanwa that I've gone and you get them in the case. I prefer to buy them in the case because I go through cases. <clears throat> cases of that and almond butter. Mm-hmm. The gooey dates, right? Majuls are gooey. Those deglaze, I've yet to ever have one that was moist. They're always that I found dry. I love that, my favorite tape. Mmm. Oh my god. So I had made fresh squeezed orange juice, added booch, and a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger. Mmm. Bomb diggity. I want some of that. What? The booch. Is there more? <laughs> I will pour you a glass. <sighs> Hello, Antoinette. I believe Antoinette was the one that uh, gave me a really cool tip on how to uh, hang bananas. She's an original oh. optimal resetter. Everyone, friend, follow Miss Beautiful Antoinette. Everybody, friend, follow Teresa. Teresa. I'm going to get my boots Therese. on. Her boots is delicious. And I'm kind of thirsty, thirsty, even though it's not thirsty Thursday, but it is sexy Sunday. What, what? Oh, this one's a. Watch this, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh! What, what? It's because I know how to open the jar. Just saying. Oh, look at you. He's doing a headstand, y'all. He's doing a headstand. Share this video. Go join our group. Create a new post. Tell Do us a story. What's your favorite dessert? What's your favorite song? What makes you laugh? What makes you pee a little? Take this one right here. <laughs> Share it in five groups. We're giving away the ninja at 7 o'clock. Miss Lana is going live at 7. 40 day yoga challenge. Oh, six. Six. <laughs> See that fizz? That's a real booch. Wait a second. I gotta rinse this one off. I'm gonna mix it with the other one. See, this is what I do in your house is I, I make up little concoctions and to try them. Yeah. Perbuchas. Perbuchas. 
Her kombucha, kombucha, is so next level, y'all. I think I pulled my groin a little bit. <laughs> Did. <coughs> Gotta work on my flexibility. Alrighty. This one I'm has. Gonna do a hashtag pour. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have let him pour the dramatic heart. You should have caught me and stopped me. Show how it's done, right? Pop the pinky first. Tell me how that Left flavor hand. is first. Yeah, I'm ambidextrous. What well, what? Uh. <laughs> Grind pull. <laughs> Hopefully we're having a sexy Saturday. Mm. The salon's gonna be here for a little while, so y'all stay tuned. And then, right before she's done, I'm gonna come in here and she's gonna go outside and walk buddy for a little bit. And I'm gonna play with y'all for 10 minutes so y'all stay tuned because I have a very, 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 very cool story to tell you. Pop that pinky, hashtag pour, hashtag dramatic pour. Come on, hashtag dramatic pour. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I'm freaking out because it's splish splashing all over the place. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you. <coughs> And sometimes the booch brings up the stuff that needs to come out too. Just saying. Oh look, my hair's in the sink. I don't know how that happened. I might have to have him come in here and play a little bit while I go and use the bathroom. That's how much I've been drinking fluids because I know I need to heal my body still. But I can get him to start on the pancakes. Maybe if he's willing. Ooh. So I'm going to put, I, I keep, a lot of times I keep flowers in the refrigerator just because of ants that like to get into the bags. And, and I don't know how they do it, but they are really, really clever and really, really tiny. And it's that time of year. Actually, that goes up top. Yummy. Has a nice flavor in it. Share your favorite kombucha flavor down in the comments. All right, so here's what we got. Here's what we got for the pancakes. This is the batter, and I think I think we're good. I like the flavor. It's gonna work. It's gonna work really yummy. Mmm. So it's. Cassava flour, tiger nut flour, and coconut flour. Coconut oil, and I had added another tablespoon on top of what the original recipe had. It's got flaxseed, which is what makes it nice and sticky, why it won't rise. We're gonna do one of these dehydrator sheets because we got these from Amazon, and I'm curious to see how they're gonna do in the oven, because they say you can use them in the oven. And I put the temperature at two something, 225, I believe. I need something hard of a surface to transfer this. Oops. I have this glass, I have this glass <clears throat> tray, uh, uh, cutting board. I'm gonna use that to put it on. I'm just gonna do a small batch in the oven because I don't wanna make it too big. And I'll show you when, when I'm done. Um, these are going to be big pancakes, I think. The nice thing about dehydrator sheets is it comes off a lot smoother, a lot easier. It's not going to stick. Whereas the last time I did this, I put them on um, the, the baking dish and it stuck. It didn't didn't come off. Tried to cook them on the oven on the stove top. That didn't work. It just basically got stuck in like it crusty in the pan. Even with coconut oil, it, it was too much. So it is a little sticky still. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
Aw. Hi, Wenda. How are you today? Hi, Belinda. Thanks for joining and tuning in. Again, if you're new and this is your first time tuning in, it's always nice to hear where you're from. Hi, Judy. Share your <clears throat> health and fitness goals in the comments. We're making banana pancakes, basically with cassava flour, tiger nut flour, and coconut flour. I'm sure these are going to be delicious whether they're in the oven or in the dehydrator. Personally, I prefer the dehydrator, so I thought I would play with both because it's always fun to experiment, and that's what it's all about. Just like if you were watching the whole process of how this was unfolding, it's my first time playing with cassava flour, and I had to add half a cup of water because of the starchiness of it to get it to po properly mix well. So, you know, that's what life is. It's all about getting in there and just doing it, right? I really want to make these flatter, <laughs> but they're not, they're sticking to the spoon as I'm doing them. Look at that yumminess. Do y'all like pancakes? Pancakes, when I was growing up, my dad like weekends, see my dad had a restaurant. And on the weekends, I don't think the restaurant was open on the weekends. So he would make stuff in the kitchen, of course. My dad was the true chef of the house. Mom was good with more baking. And we used to love to, to do the batter, lick the batter bowls. Like, I think that was the biggest treat, was getting, hey, mom, can I lick the bowl? And me and my sisters, not fighting over it, but seeing who would get it first. Let me get in on that. I want to lick the bowl. Okay. She made things like zucchini bread, zucchini, uh, zucchini cake, and carrot bread, and carrot cake, and all that stuff. My mom predominantly, you know, liked a lot more plant-based. And, you know, I don't know if it was a Catholic upbringing. She told me that my grandfather liked bacon. I guess they didn't eat bacon in the house when she was growing up. But my grandfather loved bacon, which is funny. My dad likes his bacon. Waffles too, right? Because they're cool textures. I was stationed in Belgium, and there was a place up the street from my house. And let me tell you, they had the best waffles ever. And I, I guarantee it was all the sugar in them. But the way they made them, the vanilla waffles, in the shape of a waffle, I think they're... They might have been round. No, they were square because I remembered um, breaking them off. There were little crystals of, of sugar in them so that when you bit into them, not only did you get this crystal sugar, but it was like vanilla flavored. OMG. I still remember that. Total gluten, like it would kill me now, but yummy. And I can see the addiction to the sweet, right? Because I was there. So I think we're gonna do like four pancakes in the oven. The rest will go in the dehydrator. This is fun. This is a fun experiment because we just got these, these dehydrator sheets. Hi, Lavina, how are you? We got Carl and Cheryl and Victoria. We got everybody in the house. We got our rock and rad star family here. We love you all, just so you know. I'm not as active in the group right now because I'm, I'm, I'm working on this 40 day challenge. But um, I'm watching y'all and I'm so excited because I see so many new faces and people are blossoming and sharing their stories and, and giving their introductions. And so it's really starting to feel so much more inclusive. Thank you, Cheryl, we love you too. And I, you know I love to be in my kitchen, so you know I haven't been doing a whole lot in the kitchen lately, so today's like a treat for me too. Fun, fun, fun. Yummy, 
you day two. So we're on day five of the, the rad 40 day Kundalini yoga challenge. So tonight at six o'clock, I'll be going live and I got little treats every day. It's a different Kriya, different meditation. Some days are physically challenging and, and see everybody's experience is different. So some days may feel physically challenging and some days may feel more mentally challenging. But that's part of the experience and where if you're doing it and you're keeping a journal, you can see how your thoughts start to bring up things or what, what the physical ex exercises and the meditations bring up for you. And the breathing, right? The breathing is so key. I can never stress enough about how important it is to breathe fully. Why do I know? Because I myself have to do an, a check-in. I have to also check with myself. Am I breathing fully? Or am I shallow or holding my breath, right? We only know what we know when we know it. Sometimes we don't even know what we don't know until we know it. But that tuning in and tapping into the, the truth of, and knowing of yourself and owning it is so huge. No more ignoring, no more suppressing. Just be open to it all and embracing every aspect of yourself. And that's the beauty, Mary. I love raw foods and sometimes I like cooked foods. You know, this is the beauty is, you know, it's the warm, it, I want to feel warm in the, in, the, in the cold, in the climate, the winter. So I do love to have things that are warmer. I still, I can still eat a salad, no problem. Um, but especially if I personally, my physical body is feeling cold. <clears throat> I know I need to have something a little warmer. So the teas, the tinctures, things like that that I make um, warmed up are, are also another key for me. So here's four pancakes, all different sizes, all <laughs> ridiculously and authentically rustic looking because I like my, my pancakes a little rough. <laughs> Yeah. This pancake just didn't want to let go of the spoon. So these are going in the oven. How rad do those look? The biggest one is the closest one to you, right? Look at that beauty. <sighs> so tonight I'll be going live at six and then at seven Tom's gonna slide on up in here and give you the winner of the of the blender, the ninja. So these are gonna go like this. And like I said, temperature wise, we're at 255. We'll see how this works. Because I haven't done this in the oven like on a lower setting. I've put um yeah, we'll be posting the recipe. We have posted it before in the past. This is just a different change up on the other recipe that we posted. You know we share, because sharing is caring. That's why we say sprinkle love on that share button, because you never know who else out there might be interested and go, oh, I didn't realize you could do pancakes not cooked, right? And it, it could be plant-based. So here's what I have done, and I'm gonna pull over, just gonna get, so you can see it, I'm gonna move my water jug. Hey, five gallons. I go to the Watermill Express, cost me a buck to fill this up. Now, my little corner creativity lab over here, I have this dehydrator that I got at Aldi's. What did I pay? 40 bucks or something like that? Maybe 30? I don't even remember. So, oh, and these? These are so rad, y'all. This is the, a great way <clears throat> for produce. You know, like when you need something, when you need produce and you bring these to the store or the, or the market and you put them in these. 
so much better than a plastic bag. In the case of, um, I do find that cilantro likes to be in a plastic bag, or it wilts. <coughs> so that's that, and then this is an ambiano. It's round, it's nothing fancy. I personally would love to get, um, they call it, there's a brand called Sausage Maker, and it's completely stainless steel. I'd love one of those. We'll see in the future. I might not need it. Or, you know, like, um, there's another brand. Sedona Tri Best is a good one. I've used that one. And a lot of people like the Excaliburs. So let me know. Have you got a dehydrator and do you have a preference? And how does it work for you? And what are you making it? Put that in the comments. <clears throat> These are round. And I, here's the fun part. And it takes a little bit of time and patience. Where did I just put that? Oh, I put it over there. I use parchment paper because I don't have dehydrator sheets for this. And because of the stickiness of this, I don't want to just stick it on these, these uh, plastic grooves. So I went and I, I cut them each individually so that I could put them on top because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be messy otherwise. So, I'm going to make the pancakes and put them on here. I think pancakes was the last thing I made in here, too. So now I have this to hold everything in place. I'm going to support it on my, my kitchen sink here. It's so fun. So rad. So I want to see something really cool. How cool. They're already starting to get crisp on top. That's not going to take very long in the oven. So... Hmm, again, there's the batter, all up. Oh, a square, a Nesco, do you like that? Does it work really well? Do you need a break? Yes, please. I could tell. Go take a break, what do you gotta do, you gotta go potty? I can go potty. Go potty, I got this. Cool. I got this. Yeah! What's up? <laughs> Boom, my turn. <laughs> Y'all hear it? She's like, yeah. Y'all know where that came from, right? Y'all ever seen Police Academy? The original Police Academy? Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's from, um, Ho oh, wait, Ho uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Conan the Barbarian, right? With Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's number one. And, uh, it was, uh, Wilt Chamberlain, the basketball player. This is like 1973, right? And, uh, uh, what was it? Arnold Schwarzenegger was all uh, just chilling right now, being like, you know, just really strong and stuff. And he and he and he, and, and he asks um, Wilt Chamberlain. He asks him a question. He's on this horse, and he answers. He's like, Yeah, yeah. He says, Yeah. I said, be off. Like, be off or cut it out. Cut it out. Like, if someone's giving you the H A T E, just be like, Come on, just cut it out. Cut it out. Just cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. This is how you wash your ears, y'all. My grandfather, his name was Thomas Patrick Collins, just like me. And he used to sit in his recliner and he used to itch his ear like this, y'all. He's like this. He used to grab his digit, right? And he would sit there and read the paper. And he had a longer finger than me. And he'd be like this. And I'd be like, yo! He'd be like, I go, like, if I go like, I go like this. But I do it ninja quick. My grandpa would be like this. Anyways. That's how you tell a story. That's why you go to our group. Check it out. We've made it a long ways, haven't we? Look at y'all in the comment section, right? And this is just the tip. Just the tip. Why? Because we're here to share, inspire, and support with love. And we are serving. We're serving, right? Right? Peekaboo. Marco!
I always used to cheat at that game, and don't tell me you didn't either. You know, you're in the pool. If you had your eyes closed, you'd hit your tooth. I chip my tooth right here, trying to catch a football, diving in the pool. And I had to get all laser when I was like eight. Hi, Heather. Marco, Polo, hi, Cheryl. Everyone follow friend, Cheryl, Brian, you are amazing. She's back. What, what? Oh, what? I need my kombucha. Boom. It's called, oh. it's called kombucha. Yeah. Is it good? Well, you made it, of course so. Wait a minute, I gotta do some. We'll go stir it up. I know you feel that. Do you feel that? Look at that. Peter sight. Peter sight. That sounds funny. Yeah. That was not a kabufa. That was me laughing. It needs a little flavor. Lay a whisper. On my, on my pillow through the winter all night long I lay in silence. touch me now on a bed of silence in the bedroom and all, all around, around all around mm, now we got it Mm. Mm. I don't know where that went. Try that now. I Spy. Y'all ever play I Spy? I used to cheat on that too. <laughs> My grandmother had this little owl. This is the cutest little I Spy. You hide it, and then everybody comes back in the room, and then when they get close, you gotta say, you're getting colder if they're far away, or if you're getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And I just tweaked my neck, by the way. I need to oh, do some honey. more of her yoga. You all, her yoga is so next, next level. Let me be serious right now. Okay, this is a serious face. Y'all, she's going 40 days strong. This isn't like bar yoga. This isn't just like regular yoga. This literally will make you piss glitter, elevate, levitate, smell like peaches, stick through it. You're gonna snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> you're gonna be sweating. You're gonna be giving up. Your back's gonna hurt. You might baboofa. A couple of times, get through it. If you miss day one, go to day one. Go to day two. Go to day three. Go to day four. Today's day five, y'all. She really is the real deal over here. She really, really is, y'all. In the kitchen, in the yoga, in the gardening. You know, she really is. Uh, you know, and, and she put. This takes a lot of time. A lot of time. And, and and in my opinion, there's nothing like this. You know, everything that we do from the community. You know, when we uplift. Our community we're not uplifting other influencers we're uplifting everyone everyone is equal everyone has a story and what she's providing y'all is life changing so it's also we're also posting it and uploading it to our YouTube channel too so in the event that you can't you, you have difficulty finding it on Facebook which it's right here there's YouTube op option too <clears throat> I want to say something a lot of y'all have been with me in the beginning and a lot of y'all have seen me up and down, up and down. True, authentic. And y'all have seen me play with a lot of people. I want to ask y'all a favor. If you all can tag or send a message to these individuals and say, hey, come to, come to Lon and Tom's group. Come to our group, which is your group. Come to our group. Create a post and introduce yourself. And I want you to, I want you to reach out and find these people. Brenda Vance. I want you to reach out to Brenda Vance and tell her to come. Tell Dr. Rob. Tell her to come. Tell um, Michelle Gillis to come. Tell Steve Factor to come, okay? Because it's their group too. I've played with them. I've played with a lot of people. But this group is for everyone, all right? As long as you're kind, you're welcome here, okay? Good? And no spamming, MLMs, or trying to promote products in the group. Look at our glow. You know what she does for me every day? Here, come here, babe. Get up in here. Look what she does. She puts rose, 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 rose. Uh, Hydrosol, floral water. Yeah, on my face, and th and then what she does, and then she like massage it in, and then she'll do like my jaw, like that. Uh, How's your neck? Where's your neck hurt? Right in here. And I just let her do it, dude. I just let her touch me. She's like, got a heavy head, y'all. I just let her just do it, do it, just doing it, doing it, and doing it, and it, doing doing it, it well. well. And she has the strongest it, fingers well. in the world. And then she puts this other stuff on my face. And she gives the best, best butt massage. 
And my hip flexor and my hamstrings. IT band. My IT band. You're so ass, it's so as hell. So as hell. She's so as hell. Hashtag so as hell. <laughs> oh. She's pushing on the next level, y'all. There's there's so many frequencies in this dynamic whatever we're in. You get the stones, you get the essential oils, you get the you get that self love. She thinks I'm ticklish, but I'm not. Yeah, there's I'm like different, there's different chances to this, like spirituality, God, whatever. I'm telling you, there's so <laughs> much stuff out there, and I haven't even got to really get my silence on because I'm building your your group for you because I love you. But I'm gonna go play outside very very soon, and I think I think I'm gonna piss glitter before I smell like peaches. So just watch out for that. I'm you, waiting for the for the levitation. Oh, cause yeah, I'm gonna feel. Oh, oh, oh. That does not look. <laughs> oh, is, it pro, <laughs> is it appropriate or inappropriate? <laughs> See, look at all these flavors. Look at all these flavors. What? 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 Come on, baby. What? 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 I know. Come you can on, take baby. It. Light my you can take fire. it, baby. Take it, baby. <laughs> By the way, that was a little cray cray for me. If you, think, <laughs> if you think that's funny, just imagine what else goes on behind the scene. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna tick, he's gonna beat me in a tickle war. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> He's our hashtag Twiggies. Hashtag Twiggies. You gotta stop what I say. That's our strong word. Or our, oh, sorry. Our hashtag Twiggies. I love you. Love you too. Hashtag Twiggies. <laughs> <coughs> I hear that a lot. <laughs> it's all about the love. <sighs> Was that as good for you as it was for me, baby? <laughs> we have daily belly laughs in the house. It's one thing I am gr da daily, I am fully grateful for. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> right, Heather? Seriously, the conversations we have in the house, sometimes I'm like, I don't even realize the stuff that comes out of my mouth. It just is what it is. So in Sanskrit, there's this term, you know, have you ever heard someone say, it is what it is? Now, when I used to hear that, and it was the trendy thing to say for people to basically be saying whatever, I don't give a shit, right? Thank you. I was like, okay, that's very condescending and it's kind of unkind. It, it didn't resonate with me. Until I was in 2011, January 2011, six years ago when I went for my first uh, half of vinyasa training in Nicaragua, one of the teachers that was in the program, she, she explained to me Om Tat Sat. Om Tat Sat translates to, it is, the truth is that it is, it is, that it just is, it is what it is. Now the irony in that is, is how we take things because triggers come up for us because of something that needs healing. So clearly, you know, for someone to brush off and to say to me, it is what it is, just accept it basically, suck it up baby, is how I interpreted it. And so I took that, that, that um tat sat and now I'm like, okay, the truth is, it is what it is. And that's honoring and embracing it right here in the moment as it is and not, brushing it off and, and basically having that, uh, that um, what's it called, the animosity in the tone, you know, like, oh, suck it up, baby, it is what it is, like, no, embrace it, because all aspects create the whole of what is, and what it is, is perfect in the moment, even if it seems uncomfortable, right, you have to find the comfort within the discomfort, the ease within the dis-ease. And when you become the calm within the storm, that all that craziness that's going on around you, that's where the juice is, baby. It really is. That's why we're doing the 40-day rad kundalini yoga t training here, the challenge. Because you're gonna sit with yourself. And that's the hardest thing for most of us to do. I know for myself, sit still. <laughs> I, I've already explained, I need to be doing something. I'm a very active person, mentally and physically. My mind is always going, my body needs to be moving, right? So again, it's all about embracing where you're at in the moment and not trying to push it or suppress it away, 
but recognizing it's all perfect just as it is. And it's an experience that you, your soul came into this physical incarnation to have, which is perfect as it is. Om Tat Sat. It is what it is. Now just be with it. Be fully in the present, right here with this right now. Just saying. So now we're going to do dehydrated pancakes, but i got to take, take a peek at what's going on in the oven. Man, those smell good. And I can flip them already. Look at that. They're flippable. They're a little bit, you know what? They're a little like, um, oh my gosh, these are like already have a little crispiness, a little crispy, crispy. Hey, you have to tell them about. Do y'all see these leggings or whatever they call? I don't even know about them. Look at my face because I'm going like this. You see that? Hey, just, and she kind of hurt me a little bit. I was kind of bleeding. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, hey, give me one of those. <coughs> Honey, lift your leg up. Okay, hold on, y'all. Explain what these are. Alright. Look at this. 1980s flashback, I'm gonna make them right? on the other side, too, by the way. Look, it's like leotard and then little what, what, uh, daddy long leg things. You need to tag Alo Yoga. A-L-O. 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 Alo Yoga. What's up? What, what? Alo yoga. Do you have, do you have aloe in your yoga pants? No. It's aloe like the glow. There's like a line over the O. Oh. I'm going to have you switch the other side now. Please and thank you. Is that what those are? No. Oh. We don't whisper. Oh, let's whisper. We do whisper. Whisper challenge. Whisper challenge. Oh, yeah. Let me try something. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a fan back here. Okay, hold your head down. I, I I can't. You're you're making me go forward. Just stand up. Okay. Okay, people. I don't know what what's going on here, but. Oh, where's Lada? Lada, where are you at? Ooh, body weight squats. Ooh, let me throw out my my back here. Okay, continue on. What were you saying? Are you doing squats? Not at this moment. <laughs> So tell them about these. These are really cool pants. What's that show in 1982 with that one girl with the with the with the hair, the Aquanet hair, and big hair. Yeah, and she had the really really cool spandex, and she had that really cool chair, and she danced on that chair. Remember oh, that? Foot, you're talking about not Footloose. Uh, I love Footloose. <clears throat> anybody? Anybody? Help us. Flashback. Help us. Flashback. Okay. A flash dance. I'm spent. Okay. He's Woo! Spent. I gotta, I gotta stretch out the right. I think Molly Ringwall wore those or something too. I don't know. Look at these. Oh, these are the good ones. I got these for her Christmas. These are called what what uh, sliders. There's dog fur on that, please. Hey, do you guys sweep every day in your house, or do you guys have that little Roomba, that Roomba Roomba? Look at you can just hold the leg up. I can hold the leg up. Not that high. You can put it. You you can. Well, you can put it down a little side. What are we doing? Move my hips. So I'm trying to balance out the other side. Oh. You do one side. You got to do the other. <gasps> right. What what? Do y'all do y'all when you stretch one side, you got to stretch the other, right? I'm just trying to keep him on point. On point. Can you wave your feet? Your toes like waving. Does hand. it like hands? She's got monkey feet like hands. And she karate chopped my leg, and I had was bleeding because of her nail one time. Oh my gosh! It's a true story. He need me this morning with his knee on my knee. No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's so funny. Ooh, yummy! Can I try this with yes, myself? Yes, you can. It's almost. Have you showed them up close? Sometimes he can be a little dramatic. By Look. The way. Look. It looks like chocolate, <laughs> huh? These are gonna be these are gonna be pancakes in a dehydrator. And what happens is she makes a whole bunch of them and then she'll make them in hearts and then like for two or three days I'll just eat that with some almond butter or maybe put some coconut uh, yogurt on them a little some maple drizzle I I will try the what what sauce on this even though it probably doesn't belong there But look, this is like that's chocolate y'all and these are gonna be cassava pancakes, huh? Mm -hmm. Delicious. Hopefully you guys do this recipe and we will this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start posting the recipe on the business pages, and like you all know when it's Alana and Tom certified recipe, y'all. The write-ups, the photography. What? What? I'm actually proud of myself 
with my new photography. He's gotten really, really good. Yeah, this is, this is fun. And then her, you just her write ups. It's like she does a write up and like she sprinkles glitter on it. Her her write ups are amazing. She's very, very talented. <laughs> and um, she, you tell them about your blog that you had like two oh. years ago. We're gonna start reposting that stuff because I think yeah. it's amazing stuff, y'all. She's a great writer. I started doing the lives before when Tom found me because I couldn't keep up. <clears throat> excuse me with my actual writing um, because when I would get like downloads and insights I would write them up I would do a live and a write up too after a while but it's hard to keep up sometimes with writing and I love to write and reflect <laughs> it's good isn't it oh baby <sighs> Keep going. I love it when you. I love it when he smacks his lips like that. It really. That is really. <laughs> that is really really good. You have to smack your lips on this. That is really really good. You just eat it like this, huh? See how she's cleaning up as I'm doing this. That's how next up. Oh oh, grub. Oh dog hair. Oh oh no. Oh. I know I'm not the only one. I know others out there are like that. We're still recovering. That is good, y'all. So we'll put the recipe in. That's that's so good. And you show them all this, you got this. Yeah, you got some on your nose, come here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna ninja flip out of here, you gracefully. <laughs> Spread the love, and I'll be back. Do you want a pancake? No. You should probably wrap it up. Do y'all want her to keep going a little bit longer? <coughs> That's how I view up too. Dun, 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 dun. Let's whisper. he showed that I knew that was coming eventually and I did a live making a smoothie if I'm not mistaken I believe it was a blueberry bliss smoothie or something that day too <laughs> she was like mm, this is really good <laughs> yes it was weird but you gotta remember it, it really wasn't as bad as people think think it is the whole idea of the urine therapy um, I didn't do it for, but for a couple days, so I can't tell you how much it helps or not, but there is a lot of research out there. It is a fascinating subject, and Tom and I have discussed doing this again live and sharing that with all y'all. It is kind of funny, and you know, like our old belief systems will make us go, ew, that's gross. There's all sorts of stuff you put your lips on, y'all. I mean, I've had this conversation. If you're a little freaky when nobody's looking, don't be acting like you can't be freaky all the time. That's why we say you be you, own your stuff, and who cares what other people think? What other people think is none of your business. Don't stress yourself out or give people away your power. You know, that really boils down to why not try it? If, if, you, if it's something of curiosity, just go for it. If I was your sister, well, <laughs> Literally, literally pissed. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say. But yeah, it, it's definitely worth researching yourself as well. Right? Exactly. Do you remember when you were a little kid? I picked my nose and ate it too. Oh, no, I got a story. I've told this story before. This is really, really funny, and I'm not making this up. So y'all, I'm going to try to make this quick. But <laughs> y'all have known, you know, I failed first grade. 
I think it's twice. If you fail first grade, can you do it more than once? I failed first yeah. grade. So I failed first grade. And then my second uh, first grade teacher was um, uh, Mrs. Hartsfield. My first one was right. This true story. I was, my name was Tommy, right? Everybody called me Tommy. And I tell me. you, it was the same day in 1986 when the, the astronauts and NASA and that space shuttle went down or whatever. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, was, I was like this. And to the, to before this day, I thought if I cover my nose and I put my ninja digit under here, nobody could see, nobody could see me because I covered it up, right? So I literally would walk around the playground like this, right? Or I would ambidextrate it up like that and really look for a winner. And I would just pick my nose like this. And nobody told me, like I really thought that was my superpower, that I was invisible <laughs> because if no one could see my nose or this, like this is true, man, this is true. This is like one of the most epic days. And I was like this, and we were watching that shuttle thing, and Miss Hartsfield comes up behind me, and uh, she taps me on the shoulder, and she says, Tommy, we know you're picking your nose. <laughs> and I was like this. <laughs> I could and so from see. that day forward, like, I didn't cover it up anymore. You know, I was just like this, you know. Just I just, I, hey, hey, you know, you know you pick your nose on the toilet. And, you know, I'll tell another story. This one's funny. My first wife, whatever, I'll just tell it. This is so, so true. And I've never done this before, but somebody, my, my first wife did this. I was driving in our car, and I was at a stop sign. And for some reason, I put my hand, like, on the side of the seat, like, by, by oh, the thing. Oh, I remember this And story. I'm not making this up. It was, like, petrified boogers on the entire side. That means she was like this, 24-7. It just did you did you flick it like right here? It was like petrified boogers. I hadn't done that, but you know when you're when you're dropping a deuce deuce on the what what toilet, you know you're picking your nose. Or in the shower, you know you're picking your nose. I've even made a funny video about picking noses. But you know, don't act like people can't see you like this. You know what I mean? Just be like, yeah, because we could see you. So, anyways, hmm. want to tell that story? Bye. You know what though? Here going back to the, the booger story. So actually could even go to Pop and Zitz too. Hmm. He might flip in here again. So when we were kids, aside oh, from what? <laughs> I have an amazing and I'm good at not making this up. Check this out. I thought it was a, I'll tell you two stories about zip. I was in uh Oh that one. I was in tenth grade and I had this zit right here. But it was like so big. It was like, it was seriously like 14 zits in one, right? And it was just so big, it was like this. And I had to take myself out of English class. It was a day that I wasn't at the principal's office. And I went in the mirror and I was like, I gots to pop this. I gots to pop it. There wasn't a head or anything, but you could see when you went like this, there was like 13 little white heads. And I got myself all psyched up, yo. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna pop this thing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go. And I was like this, I was like, And it literally went, doo, 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 doo. like it was, it was, it was so many white heads in there. I'm not, so, and then, and then I'll tell you another story that I think I've told this story before. I had, cause I used this little ninja thing to do my, um, my nose hairs and I used to smoke cigarettes when I was in high school. And so every time I, every time I would do my nose hairs and then smoke a cigarette, I wouldn't get an ingrown hair, but hmm. I thought it was a zit and I had this thing for like three weeks and I finally said I got to you know one of those zits or in ingrown will take you to it's your knees y'all you just be like this and you'd be like ah you know what I mean just ah it was, it was it was one of those so I was like all right I got I got myself all psyched up. makes that noise a lot by the way. So I got myself all psyched up right now I gotta do this so you know I was in there I tried to get all up in there you know with like a needle I'm like okay I just I just I just gotta pop it so true story I went like this and I went and and a hair shot out a long crispy crispy shot out into the mirror with all this yellow and green and blood and it had a long hair so i had an ingrown hair shoot out of my nose this way what what isn't that crazy like ingrown hairs sometimes woof i can't say i've had that kind of story but I do remember my sisters, my dad would pick his nose at the, at the stoplight when we were in school, we were young. I, he purposely did it though. He'd be like, he, cause we'd be like, dad, 
you know, like you're at a light or something and dad's like over there I'm like oh my god I'm so embarrassed my dad's picking his nose and then our dad would be like if you catch us picking a nose or think you know like you'd be like going like he's like get me a green one oh you got any blue ones in there oh yeah yeah keep digging get in there real good <laughs> just to add to the humor of it. And uh, <clears throat> my then there was the whole flicking action. Did y'all do that? Like my sisters and I <laughs> flicking boogers. <clears throat> and I think, I think it was my sister, she would put boogers on the back of the curtains. Like she'd pick her nose and put them on the back of the, the drapes in the house when we were growing up. All sorts of interesting stories, but the zits. So in a mirror, when in the mirror in the bathroom, we were three girls, three sisters, and then my mom and my dad. So one bathroom up in Maine, and we're all teenagers in the bathroom. We had this mirror, and like you pop a zit and it would pop over on the window. Or like I swear there was a collection of zit extract on the corner. I mean seriously, some of the crazy stuff. This is raw and re real. I mean this is like. These are true stories. I know we're not the only ones who have these, right? The crusty bits can finish that. <laughs> it's just funny just thinking about it, but I mean, I wouldn't eat them now. I'm trying to try to get that stuff out of my body. And every morning, um, so part of part of the Ayurvedic, the the you know, there's a whole lot of teachings around getting cleaning the monkey glands first thing in the morning and uh, Ayurvedic oil pulling to get the metabolism and to get all the toxins out of your body using uh, sesame oil or coconut oil because it's all about getting that overnight buildup and clearing all of your your values, your your, um, your body. So for example, I do the monkey gland cleansing. Use alum or potash is the other name for it and you put just a little bit on your t your your toothbrush and you move it around in your mouth. It opens, it starts the salivary glands because it's got that that funky flavor to it, right? The, um, what's the word? Not, it's uh, aspirate kind of like, you know, and it, it starts up the salivary glands. See, man, my hair is getting a little bit matted. And, um, yeah, mm, my hair's getting a little bit caught up here. So, yeah, you move it around in your mouth with the toothbrush, and then you, you basically brush the back of your throat, and um, <clears throat> it's going to bring up at least three phlegm globules, and it's, gonna, you're, it's meant to water your eyes, and you'll also blow out your nose. That's kind of how my morning starts. So I'm coughing it up, and there's usually three phlegm globules. They don't have to be yellow or green. But it could be clear too, because we ha always have a little bit of something going on from the previous day and night. And then it's purposely, by watering the eye, getting the tear ducts to water, that clears out any type of, of gook in, in your eyes too. And it actually makes me feel more alert and woken up in the morning. And then the neti pot too. So you can use a neti pot if you like. I just blow straight out into the sink and I'm kind of lazy. Sometimes I use the neti and sometimes I don't. Recently I've been using the neti. And uh, yeah, that makes a huge difference. And then I have a spoon. Now, I don't know about y'all, I've tried the tongue scrapers. I don't like them because they, they go, like anything that comes scraping out goes over it. So what I do is I use a spoon that has a little bit of an edge on it, about the size of a tablespoon, and I scrape out my tongue. You can do that anytime and it's so good, right? I can imagine the sinuses of a coal miner. That I can imagine. So yeah, it's pretty It's pretty fascinating. A spoon is like the best way to do it, personally. That's my experience. I'm spreading out these pancakes over here. And then again, the Ayurvedic oil pulling is beautiful because then you're also, again, you're, you're activating. And it, it's recommended 20 minutes. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put it in my mouth and I'm doing something around the house. Just swish, 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 swish. You got to kind of mindfully keep alert that you're still swishing. But you want to keep your mouth 
like your teeth together because the purpose is, is to exercise the um, the muscles and everything as you're doing it and then afterward use the spoon to pull yeah so yeah exactly using a spoon to pull off the tongue is key if you have a, a spoon that has a little edge to it around the edges it's it's really helpful you don't have to go and buy fancy tongue scrapers those things don't even pull it all out because what I did with those it has this opening and it looks like like a little thing like this and it, you pull it through and then it, it's like for me it was just the bacteria and the scraping went over that piece so at least with the ton with the spoon you're getting it all in the spoon and it's coming out in the sink <clears throat> so yeah let me know down there a grapefruit spoon well maybe <laughs> I don't need that's too for me that's too small but mine is um mine's a tablespoon just so I can get the whole thing oh the oil pulling so for oil pulling you would use sesame oil and, or coconut oil or you can mix them too because the sesame oil is going to be really potent but it's really good for increasing your math metabolism and it um it tonifies and strengthens the bones in your teeth too and it's going to pull it draws out the toxins in your body that's just one little little tidbit <clears throat> and I've been doing it for years and I, I admit it's supposed to help heal if you have cavities and things like that um, the other thing is is that um, I don't do it all the time and then I realize I need to be doing this again funny enough what I do is I use my activated charcoal toothpaste that I made and, and, and it lasts forever I've been doing this for a while too um, and it has coconut oil in it and what'll happen is as I'm brushing my teeth I'll get this liquid build up and I'll add a little bit more coconut oil to it and then I'll just swish using that so I've got all of the stuff from my my activated charcoal also in my mouth with that so hey to me can't hurt can't hurt to try yeah 20 minutes you can do it at night you can do it during the day you do it whenever you feel you have 20 minutes that you want to do something and you can walk around and do it because you know most of us get bored don't want to just hang out in the bathroom right oh my ab routine you know what tune into my 40 day rad kundalini yoga challenge Robert and you will find that you will get a workout just doing the the breathing exercises that in itself huge I don't do ab work per se Squats will even help. Um, I've taught yoga, aerobics, kickboxing, Pilates, uh, step aerobics, a little bit of everything, right? I, it's you know what, Julie? It's really easy to make your own stuff. It's just sometimes we don't realize, you know, we got to take the time to do it, and it's just doing it. And once you've done it, you'll have it. And so for me, my activated charcoal, I've the one that I have right now and I didn't remember everything I made the last batch with which was like years ago because <laughs> it lasts that long I have a little jar that's really small very compact <clears throat> and for my flavors you can't even taste it anymore but um, I put peppermint oil some cinnamon in it um, trifola I know I'm gonna start rattling off some names of stuff and people are gonna be like what's that because that's just how I roll um, make a little itty bitty one right here but uh, yeah I, it's it's key it really is huge you know when you make your own stuff and you know what's in it there's no fluoride in it there's some turmeric in it because I have a turmeric oil and so I, I put turmeric is really good for the teeth what else? I might have put uh, oh gosh I know I put some other stuff in there there's oh I put bentonite clay in it um, some diatomaceous earth, the activated charcoal, just to name a few of the ingredients. And you know what, Julie? We'll do more videos on doing making products and things like that here on in the on the business page. So in the future, it's definitely something I will touch upon more. We always love your feedback. So anytime there's something you would like us to cover in a video. 
Ask us. We'll do it. So, here's the first one, first tray of the pancakes that are going to go in the dehydrator. Here's, the, here's what I like, is you can stack as many as you want and start it as you want. And so my original recipe, I ended up doing, let me see what I said here, because I have to write things down, right? So you can use four to six hours, depending on the size of your pancakes and your dehydrator. Um, and then you want to flip them about halfway through, just like I did in the, in the oven. So I'm going to put this on for, let's say, I always put it at 115. And then I'm going to set it for, let's try, I'm going to put it for six hours. We're, we're here, so we know what, when you hit the on button, and it'll start moving. Where's my lid? Okay, so I have two extra trays back here. I have two trays there, plus this tray. So there's five trays in total. And then what I do is I'll stick that first tray, in, and then I'll prepare the next one, and then I'll put it on top of that and so on, you know? Like I said, I've got four pre-cut parchment paper if you don't have access. I mean, this is reusable. I was able to reuse the last papers from my last batch because they didn't really get that dirty. And then I have, if I need more, I can trace them out, right? So. You know, this these little cues and keys and ideas of doing things differently. Now, let's check the oven. These are nice and crispy, crispy. Oh, I like it. I'll have a little something to eat before I take off and go teach my, my other class. And then run back and teach y'all for the next 40 day challenge. It's day five, y'all. Got special stuff in, in mind for y'all. So, any questions out there? What are y'all doing on this sexy Saturday? Are you getting your groove on? Are you keeping warm? Making pancakes? And technically, you don't even need flaxseed, but it's kind of nice to keep to, to uh, get everything to stick together too. It's not a major ingredient. This is like art. Is it Sexy Sunday? I know, sometimes I'm a little off in my mind. You're right, it is Sexy Sunday. Thank you for reminding me. See, this is what I love, we check each other. It's kind of like with Tom, kombucha, not kombucha, right? <laughs> tea for two and two for you tea for two and tea for me for tea for you I love making up my own words there's a lot of love in the house I love it lazy days the kids like to play you let them go play and you can enjoy just watching Right? Exactly. No pun intended. We want to keep you on the same page. We want to spread that love and really expand our community because we know that there are people out there that need the love and support that y'all are sh sharing and spreading and showing up for one another. It's huge. It really is huge. Um, I'm very, very blessed here in the, in the Clearwater area to have such an amazing community of my own personal um, yoga family, but also I have a goddess family of, of ladies that support one another. We're hoping to get back together again. We used to, we usually like to meet once a, once a week on Wednesdays. And so it's like things like that, the little things like that, that not everybody has access to, that we built this community knowing we all need to be supported. We all want to feel loved. Don't worry about your differences. Look at what you have in common, because we all have the same thing in common, and that is to be, to feel good about ourselves, 
and to connect with people who uplift and inspire us, right? And support us no matter what. Yeah, we're team <coughs> human, not team vegan, not team 80-10-10, not team Mediterranean, Mediterranean diet, not team, let's name them all. What? Weight Watchers, Paleo, Keto. We're not team Keto. We're not team this. We're not team Pepsi. We're not team pescatarian. Vegetarian. We're not team Pescatarian. Okay? We're team... Car we're not team Carnivore. But if you are, and you're kind, okay, if you're kind, K-I-N-D, all right, and then we can play together. We play nice together. Hashtag team human. What? what? Hashtag, hashtag, team human, right? We're all about being and not trying to fit in because that is what separates us, right? Separates us from one another by being separate from ourselves, by not being whole with ourselves. So when you yourself show up as you, you you'll find a, a deeper, stronger connection with other people as yourself than trying to fit in with those crowds, right? Kindness matters. And kindness and compassion all have to start within. That's why I'm doing the 40-day challenge, um, so that you yourself can also just become more peaceful within, right? That's beautiful, exactly. We all look the same from within. Let's not go without. And if you know of any groups out there that you can share this video in, Please do, because you just never know. They may need a little inspiration to, to really find another place where they know they can go, that they'll be accepted for all that they are. Especially gardening groups, y'all. If you could share this video, because it's really sharing you in your comment section. If you're in gardening groups, please share this in gardening groups, because in that way, you know, I can, I can surround myself by gardeners and learn from them and then, you know, then we can put them in our group or we can visit their group. But if you are in gardening groups, please share this video because I need to learn about gardening. Thanks. Me too. I'm always learning. And so when we have, we have those people that come to our group that have that extra wisdom, we're going to learn from them just as well. And we would love to play and collaborate with some of those people. So that opens up a new venue for all of us in this community, right? Uh, so like I'm loving on my pancakes over here. I love making my pancakes. Mm. Mm. Kindness starts with self and so when you're do, doing the Kundalini challenge what happens is, is you start to recognize that the kindness that you want to extend to others has to start with you. Because people show up where we are at. If you are unhappy in, within yourself, you're going to find that people that show up in your life are going to be vibing on the same vibe. They're going to, you know, like, misery loves company. Well, funny enough, if you're miserable, you're going to, it's going to draw in miserable people. If you truly want to be and feel good, you have to work on cultivating that inner love, that self-love. See, we're making pancakes with these. Look at that, doughy, doughy, doughy. So I'm in Clearwater, Florida, Anthony. And the community that I have here is, I teach yoga, obviously. And I have a studio nearby that is like none I've ever been to. And I'm very blessed to have such an amazing group of supportive and uplifting people who not only inspire me, but also empower me. Did you show them a little rad love vision and you bring it all up in there? Oh, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it again. Good. Why don't you tell them about the winter solstice? OMG. Next level, y'all. Next level, this winter solstice. So, and, and Tom was here by himself. It was cray cray. I was watching some of his videos. I couldn't keep up with everything he was doing. But um, I tried to keep him as well, you know, stocked up with some food and booch and all that. 
as much as I could while I was gone for, was I gone a week, a little over a week? <clears throat> <clears throat> so what I experienced, and this was my fourth year of going to winter solstice, it's a Kundalini event in um, Lake Wales for winter solstice, and then the the summer solstice is in Española, New Mexico, which I have yet to do, and I might, who knows, maybe I'll go this year. Um, and I always do a work exchange as a security person, so like I help secure, make people feel that they're protected, but more so just, it's a, it's a watch, just to keep everything in line. I spent over 10 years in the Air Force, so for me it just comes natural to have a, a pretty keen eye. But also an awareness intuitively, because for me, whenever I'm working the gate, I get the feels and I, the vibes of, of what this next year usually is going to entail. And um, this is going to be a beautiful year if you're open and you're embracing the changes that are coming into your life and going with it in ease and grace. It really truly is your year to shine. It may, it's about doing less and allowing more, being and trying trying to ease off the reins of trying to do everything, right? Awesome, Robert. Um, thank you for your service. Because truly, we will thrive the most when we embrace and sit with what is instead of trying to change it to what we want it to be. But it's the awareness of it that's key, right? And so... We do three days of white tantra where we're all dressed up. Thank you for your service, Anthony. We're dressed up in full white with my turban. And we do it in lines and with a partner. One side is the masculine and one side is the, the feminine energy. Doesn't matter if your partner is a male or female and you're, you're equal, it, it all works out and balances. The energy works in a zigzag motion so even if the person across from you, it's going from you to the people diagonal and vice versa, like that, that double helix, you know, the DNA strand. The energy moves and it's pretty powerful because it's a collective experience. It isn't just, oh yeah, <clears throat> you know, just one person having their own personal experience. You're having your experience and you're having everybody's experience as a collective. And I can tell you, I know Tom felt it while I was I was there because I was do I was working really hard, and some of the exercises were set were 62 minutes of your arms up at 60 degree angles. Sometimes your arms were moving for 60 degree, you know, I mean, 62 minutes or 31 minutes. It's it's crazy the stuff from the outer eye, but the arms are. The gar okay, so the armpits are the garbage pits of the mind. And when you work a lot of arm stuff, you work in through the mind. Because the mind will try to say, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. The mind is only meant there to protect you from, from danger, right, and threat. But the irony is, is that the only threat is, most of the times, the mind getting caught up in the old stories. So, yeah, it's about discerning and learning what, what's the truth for you. And uh, it was powerful this year. It was super powerful. That last day was probably my favorite and best day. Um, it, there were some challenges physically, but I was still... <sighs> I didn't see the comment. I don't see anybody as being nosy. I love comments and questions. So I, I promise the comments I'll get a chance to go through later on this evening. I've got a lot of things on my plate today. But, you know, I really w have been missing y'all in the kitchen. We're making pancakes. So this is the dehydrated form. There's some in the oven right now, which I'm gonna definitely partake in prior to heading out to teach. Because I've gotta teach locally here in Clearwater. And then after that, I'm gonna come back and I'll be live with day five of the Rad Kundalini Yoga Teacher uh, Challenge, the Rad Kundalini Yoga Challenge. So make sure you have notifications turned on so you know it's to see first and when we go live because when you you see us first you're going to be able to know exactly when oh look she said she's going on at six 
and maybe I start a couple minutes later or earlier, but at the same time, you'll, you'll see it in your notifications. Ah, thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, I do do a lot. Sometimes I'm wondering how the heck I do it. Even yesterday, I'm in the kitchen and doing stuff, and I turned to Tom and I said, gosh, you know, I know I did a lot, but I just feel like I didn't do much at all because it doesn't look like it. You know, like you think you you haven't done anything and you have to kind of be kinder on yourself. And that's that's been a lifelong challenge for myself because I am extremely hard on myself. And I know that. So when someone else is hard on me, I got a strong will and a strong ego that says, who the hell are you to talk to me? Because my mind's already talking at that level and then some. Like somebody pointing out your faults is not necessary. And with that said, those of us who think we know better for another person sometimes need to check ourselves and go, whoa, is it kind? Is it necessary? Is it compassionate? Is it serving? And, all, it, and you know what? It's A lot of times it's your delivery too. You want to be kind with your words. You want to be loving. You want to float through the air with ease and grace, my ballerina over here. He's, he's, he's very graceful, isn't he, today? Love spin booming all around. So yes, today is a, definitely a three-hour day in the kitchen. I'm going to finish up this last tray, and then I'm going to let you all have the rest of your day, because Tom will be ninja flipping in, in here within the next hour to share more stories. While I'm gone. Ooh, I'm just trying to make this last little perfect round pretty little, pretty little pancake. He wants more booch. He probably does. Um, <clears throat> I told him yesterday, I said, you realize I'm not used to having such a shortage of booch, right? Because I usually bring it to the yoga studio. My dad stops by and gets all stocked up on his booch. I don't know what's going on over there. I just know. Sometimes he can't handle it when it's me on the other side. <laughs> all right, y'all. Last showing, and then we're going to say, see y'all later at 6 o'clock when I'm doing day five of the Rad Kundalini Yoga Teaching tra uh, Challenge. Aw, thank you, Hala. I appreciate you for tuning in. So we just lift the top lid. And we t Look at that, it's already getting crispy. This is not gonna take that long. I might just set it for four hours, but they'll still need to be flipped. So I've got a ninja that will be able to flip those for me while he's live, I'm thinking. Alrighty, and the ones in the oven, Look at this. Look at that. They're nice and warm. Hi, Flora. How are you, honey? Oh my God. A little bit of maple syrup, and I'm I'm in heaven. Heaven. I'm in pancake heaven. Get you some, y'all. Look, there's a little piece of pancake. That's what that little white spot is. It's a little chunk. If you really like them chunky, you can also chunk them up and put them in there like that too. Who doesn't like a little chunk in their pancake funk? Chunk and funk. Mmm. Mmm. All right, y'all. Love spin boom. Hold on. I was waiting. I knew it was coming. Okay, gonna... final announcement, y'all. As y'all see in the comments. Okay, so this has been our best video ever. You know, I've been doing this for 14 months front and center. She's been doing it probably just as long. And this is our best video that we've done. So... I'm gonna ask you for a favor. We have 40, almost 43,000 members in our group and it's your group, okay? If you look at the group right now, anybody that posts a question or anything, if you look in the comment section, look at all that love, look at all of that support, right? It's, it's so, I mean, literally, I get chills every single day and she does too, especially the introductions, especially when people are, are struggling, um, you know, if, if, if they, if some people have reached out to me and say that, you know, their boyfriend raped them or something, I mean, it's really, really severe or um, their son has autism or, you know, they can't, you know, um, kick their heroin addiction, whatever it is, okay? So this group is very, very special to us and it's your group. And so 
This is the end of the video. We're gonna do Love Spin Boom, but I ask you for one favor, okay? Will you please share this video in five groups right now? Mm -hmm. Because anybody that sees this video is gonna feel the love. They're gonna look at your comments and they're gonna say, wow, this is different. This is different. I wanna be a part of this. And so if you could do that right now, if you haven't already, because what's gonna happen is if they see this and, and their group, then people will come to our group and then maybe we can collab with that group, you know, especially if it's, a, uh, if it's an anti-vax or um, mm -hmm. if it's a gardening, right? Or if it's a depression group, we can collaborate with them. And the more people that we can, you know, find, you know, the more support that we're all gonna receive. So please do that for me. Please do that for Miss Lana. And, and more importantly, do it for you. Because, you know, if you do that, the more people are going to be able to support and love you. So thank you very it's much. It's using the power of social media to embrace one another and to spread that love. This is the web of inclusion these days. Let's not focus on all that other stuff that's going on. The more we come together and we unite, the less they can try to divide us. And that's what this is really about. This is the movement. It's about united we stand together and we're here for that and that is what is so powerful about this group is we know and we have faith and trust in knowing this because of our own personal experiences and journeys that's why we're here to serve y'all we're gonna do love spin boom okay y'all sexy saturday go outside give yourself a hug sunday. go hug a sunday. tree <laughs> it's sexy sunday <laughs> don't give up on the person you're becoming all right and exhale only love all right love spin boom Boom. What what? Keep it Keep raw. It raw stay stay rad. rad. Bye y'all. We love you. Boom.